it's so fucking cheap in South America, bro. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thank you. Up, man. I had to hit them up. Man. I used to hit me up like once on WhatsApp. But like, she, she ain't tripping. That's fine, man. Oh, hell yeah. For real, bro, because my woman know what the deal is. She already know what time it is, man. You, you going to Columbia without me? What do you mean? And that one video you sent me, that like the Venezuelan chick? They was, that shit was on Worldstar, it ended up being on Worldstar. Oh, yeah? Yep. That's what I said, I was like, yo, the Lord made, he, he did a good thing when he made the Latin woman, bro. When he made her, he, I mean, I know she get on y'all nerves and shit, but that Latin woman, bro, that Northern Kingdom woman, bro. I was like, I see why Benjamin grabbed their ass up and <laughs> they wave with them, man. Yeah, man, fucking nigga woman. I don't know. But it's like, oh, it's a bond ass nigga. Nah, bro. Not like this. They come in bunches down in South America, but like, you can take a bunch like this, and maybe like two or three of them hoes. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, they still alright. You know what I mean? Not in America. They made, they made up for it. We, we live, bro. Are you open this up? When you open this up, bro? Hey, shout out to all my I'm going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 refuse to come back to the Heavenly Father, you know, to, to follow after righteousness, you know, and then to the heathen nations they get a, uh, uh, as well, man. Matthew's ten and, that, that are um, uh, in ten and, ten and to five. destroy the children of Israel, man. You know, and as we see, you know, uh, with, with this uh, worldwide event, the, the, the pandemic, man, who are the, the people that they're putting in the forefront? You know, uh, it's Jake, man, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian. You know, they're, they're coming after you people, man. You know? All right, brother. And this is what, what we're warning our people, man. You got to take a uh, Bible prophecy and, and match it with, with current events, man. You know? And this is what's going on right now. The, the, the persecution of, of the children of uh, Israel Jeremiah 30 and is, is seven. coming, man. You know? And, and it, it is already happening. You know? They're, they're talking about, oh, we got to, you know, get um, the jab to all the, the so-called people in need, which is... There's a, a lot of people in need, but who are their, their main focus? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native communities uh, in the U.S., man, you know? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's right, in that day of trouble. Those days of trouble or uh, already began, you know? Uh, real quick reason, you know, because as you, as you people can see, you know, your so-called leaders, they're taking liberty away from you, man. You know, and they're not gonna stop until you fully submit uh, to their will. And they say they're gonna, they say they're gonna make it, they're gonna make it so bad that you're gonna give your rights up. You're gonna, you're gonna Henry Kissinger just said that shit. He said right. they're, gonna, they're gonna get in uh, one of the Rockefellers. He said that shit, it's gonna get so bad that people are going to be screaming, yelling for the new world order, man. Right, it's like, um, I don't know if you brother saw the, the show Utopia, you know, when the, when the scientist dude uh, came through and he said, uh, What's up, man? How you doing? Oh yeah, we've been out here for a while, man. Hey, oh yeah, yeah. You guys are all over New York, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You out here visiting? Nah, I lived here for six years now, but I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Oh yeah, we've been out. We've been out here about uh, seven years, man. But you know, you yeah. probably just think we out here on Sundays now, man. So yeah, bro. So you already know you're Israelite and everything. 
Puerto Rico, 100. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Puerto Rico. So yeah, you eat from Mike, man. So yeah, 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 you know not to take the chip, right? Yeah. You know, take that jet. You took that vaccination? No, no. Yeah, don't take that. Don't take I'm that. I'm trying to stop my, my daughter from getting it too, but yeah. I'm yeah, Lord willing, Lord willing, the Lord, the most I have mercy. Since you know us, man, it's your time, man, to wake up, man. Yeah. You went from New York to Hawaii. What brought you out here? Uh, so long story short, I just been like struggling since I was like a kid. And yeah. My mom's just locked up my whole life. My mom's just locked up in the bank. Yeah. I had to do my, myself. Yeah. I just kept having the state. And I found Hawaii. All right, man. Well, hey, welcome out here, man. But yeah, so it's your time to wake up. You know, you hear this word. It get that scripture where it says you hear the word, uh, a, a voice from the left and from the right, because that's what that's what's happening. You heard a voice in New York. Now you out here. You know, like we always tell brothers, hey, you either you either hearing this word consecutively in your life for one or two reasons. That one first reason is salvation, and the other reason is for condemnation to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Because we're coming in the time now where like things are getting heated up. You know, especially they're coming against our people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Yeah. We're the we're the we're in the scope of this devil for his you know for his his vaccination and obviously ultimately for that chip, man. Because yeah. he want to control us. Because he want to try to prevent us from being saved. But that ain't gonna happen. Go ahead and read it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter thirty and verse twenty-one. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, "This is the way. Walk ye in it." Right. So this is the way. You know, not Christianity, not Islam. Okay, the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. His son name is Yahweh Shai. In Proverbs 30 and 4. His son name is Yahweh Shai, man. So that's the that's the way you need to you need to come back to. You know, and what is what does it mean to be an Israelite? It's more than just being an Ephraimite. Yeah. You gotta follow the customs of our forefathers, you know what I mean? To the best of your ability. And that's the law of Central and Commandments. Now you can't keep them perfect. The most high ain't asked you to keep it perfect. All you gotta do is repent. That's the main thing. That's how I had the brother he, when we first opened up camp, I was telling him to read it, like, look. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. So when something major is about to happen, that means it's time for you to get your thing together. Yeah. Okay? Because you don't want to be destroyed on this side. You don't want to die in your sins. Yeah. Ultimately, you don't want to die in your sins. And that's what's going to happen to two-thirds of our people. Go ahead. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Right. So when you go to the left, turn to the right, you're going to hear a voice saying, this is the way. And that's what we're doing. That's You keep hearing this voice because it, it needs to be submitted in your mind. Now, whether... We, we plant the seed, the most high, your house by Shema Shah is going to give you the increase, you know, and he's going to protect you and your household, even your daughter. She might not be here, but guess what? The most high going to have mercy on them. We got family, brothers, we got family, we got kids that don't live here. You know what I'm saying? Women that don't live here. So, but that don't mean the most high not going to protect them. But it's up to you. It's, it's, it's not up to you, but it's up to the most high, but it's given to you. And like, I'm bringing it out to you because. I love the brother's name too. Yeah, yeah. Right. Here you go. go ahead. That was it on that? Go ahead, bring it up. Uh, Proverbs 20 and 24 man's goings are of the Lord how can a man then understand uh, his own way right so yeah it is you was riding down the street you parked there where you parked at yeah make sure you don't get no ticket but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Just, I ain't gonna hold you too long but hey bro you stop yeah the look that was the Lord that's what I'm trying to bring we're about to bring out is like the most high he dictate your steps you know what I mean you you went you went from living in New York catching hell y'all here most High gave you a little reprieve, gave you a woman, you straight, you doing all right, you okay? Hey, the Most High brought you, really brought you down here so you can hear this word, man. He woke you up today, you ain't know what time you was going to do anything, you know he's going to be out here. That's a fact. Though. Yeah, just Most High, because he, he guided your steps, man. That was it on that? Yeah, kind of, and uh, you know, you hearing this word, because you mentioned you heard the brothers in New York, it, it, it's for a reason, man. The Lord's trying to, yeah, go ahead, brother. you know, uh, give you a wake up call, man, because the times that we're going to come in, that we're all right here. He go in my bag and my sword. The big part. And they want to destroy us as a people, man. So the Lord's giving you a wake up call, like the brother said. We, the only thing we could do is, is give you the word, and it's, it's up to you go ultimately out. to the heavenly Father. But go out. Up to you, you say, you know what? I'm gonna follow after the heavenly Father, or I'm gonna just be in the world. And ultimately, if you do follow the world, you're gonna be destroyed, bro. Because at the end of the day. These people are coming to put a, a, a basically a chip in you to mark you as their slave. And, and if you willingly now knowing that that's what, what the Bible is talking about, if you willingly take that mark, the Lord's gonna have to destroy you because you're taking allegiance with the enemy. Yeah, you know. Hey, real, uh, real quick, this is uh, Saint Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. 
Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Because that's what you're looking for. When you're going from different space to different place and still catching hell, you're not really getting rest. The rest is going to come in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be down here on earth. Just like we're in the, we're in the Edomite's kingdom, the so-called white man. We're in his kingdom. This is his rest. That's why he gets the better portion of everything, and we get the worst. Like Look, sleep, yeah, that's right. Man. So it says, uh, it says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find. I'm sorry. For I, yep. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. So this is where you're gonna find rest at in His truth, knowing that one, you're Israelite. Well, first of all, knowing the, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Two, knowing you're Israelite, knowing that it's a kingdom gonna be set up on earth for you. You gonna be a king. Your son, your seed gonna be you're all your, your. You are a prince. You are a prince. You know, you don't know that now. You ain't because you ain't got the benefits of it yet. But when you wake up and you come fully into this truth, you're gonna know, hey, I'm a, I'm royalty. But that don't mean you walk around with a emboldened, proud spirit. You know that, hey man, my kingdom is coming. So whatever happens in this society, it don't matter. Because we're gonna have our establishment. Alright? And so that's where the rest is at. Rest knowing that, hey, look, man, I'm I'm royalty, and you are. Because there's a scripture in Ecclesiastes, you ain't gotta get it. It says, uh, I seen princes walking as uh I'm I'm in, I'm in uh Servants as uh, uh, leaders and princes walking as servants, man. Well, yeah, yeah, I've seen servants sitting on horses. A horse is a symbol of power, and we walking as what servants, man. And there's a there's a statue in New York City with Theodore Roosevelt, and he got Gad, a uh, so-called Native Indian, and Judah, a slave, standing next to him, man, walking as servants, man. You wasn't meant to be a servant. You weren't meant to have to go to work. You know, work all day. I don't know if you ever seen uh, coming to America. His father was mad that he had to work. He's like, my son works? Well, that's how the most high look at. So we telling you that there's rest coming. And salvation is coming unto you. And unto your forefather. And even your woman. I don't know what her nationality is. But guess what? It don't matter because she could be an Israelite too. She was drawn to your spirit for whatever reason. And now she's under you. Okay? And that's how, that's how it's supposed to be. Because you got Israelites scattered amongst all these nations. You're going to have Israelites coming out. Looking like so-called uh, uh, Polynesian people, Micronesian people, Melanesian people, Chinese, Japanese, Arab, yeah, African. Crazy, huh? Yeah, that's because that's because that's that curse we were scattered amongst the nations. So you know the point of the matter is that take the Lord's yoke because it's light. All that hell you catching in the world, you gonna catch hell in the truth, but it ain't gonna be like that. Why? Because the Most High gonna sustain you, and you go through certain things to try you. You know you don't just give a man a billion dollars. What the fuck you gonna do it? He don't know he gotta earn it. So that, well, that's what we're doing right now. We're earning our, 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 our spot in the kingdom of heaven, giving diligence to make calling an election short, even though it's already predestined who got the ticket. We, we still gonna do what we gotta do to maintain it, to get that. That was it? That was it on that? Uh, I, I had a call uh, I'm letting go, because he gotta, he gotta yeah, get his car. That's all right, brother, but hey, you. we out here every Sunday, man. All right, hey, shout out brother. Thank you, sister. All right, let's take it easy, man. Every Sunday we out here, bro. You get some All right, brother. All right, brother. Shout out Yeah, that's the spirit, man. And you see, that's why. And yo, bro, I'm telling you, don't can't nobody tell me that your heart about was shot on here. Your prayers, bro. Oh, yeah. He can't. Nobody can't tell me that, man. I'm telling you, I was, simple things. You sit down, I'm like, hey, Lord, I just want to edify, brothers, man. Give us a spirit. I said, Lord, before we came out the camp, Lord, please give us the spirit to edify, man. I remember one night I was working over there at Ward. Mm -hmm. Same thing at Ephraimite. I'm walking doing my patrols, right? Mm -hmm. And he just walks up to me and he goes, Hey, what do you think about this and that? And I looked at him and he said, and he just says out of the blue. He says, I'm a Puerto Rican, I'm an Ephraimite. Just out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? That's and I Lord. Said, I said, You believe in the Bible? He said, Yeah. And we just start conversing. Yeah. And that's what that, that's what this kid reminds me. Yeah, there you go. Ephraimites work, Ephraimites work, they waking up. Yeah, Jake is waking up. Jake is waking up. You got a lot of Ephraimites out here. His woman probably could have been an Ephraimite. Oh, yeah. You see, she's in order. She ain't say nothing. Nothing. Not, not one word, bro. They even try to pull him away because the Lord wanted him to hear his word. And he had a beautiful, humble spirit on him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, we get excited and razzle dazzle when we see brothers come out. Lord willing, we plant that seed. The most side give the, hey, get that scripture, uh, uh, Paul planted a uh, pile of water, but the most side get an increase, man. And that's what it's about, man. We, listen, man. You know, like the, like that one nigga that came by last week, he, he dapped us up, but he ain't dapped the brother Kahan up. Like he ain't no Israelite. You know what I'm saying? But what if that nigga would have passed out? Hey, he said the brother come up. The brother came up humble, bro. Hopped out the car. 
put his joint, and the Lord ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get no ticket. Most I gonna bless that man, yo. Go ahead, bring it out. Bring what you got out, huh? So, Baruch, uh, chapter four, and verse thirty-six says, "O Jerusalem, look, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the heavenly Father." Yeah, because Yahweh Shai is coming from the east. That's right. He gonna come. He coming from the east on them chariots, man. He gonna fuck. He gonna fuck them uh, niggas up in the uh, the valley, the valley of Hemming, God. Okay. Right. He gonna break them. He gonna break them. And on his way over here, on his way. He gonna get us. Right. He coming. He's coming. He's coming over here, man. Go ahead. He says, "Lo, thy sons, uh, come down." So like it. "Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Heavenly Father." That's, That's right. right. And what we witness, you know, and brothers are, are witnessing around the world. Is, is, is that miracle, man? You know, the Heavenly Father is waking us back up as a nation, man. Right. Starting off with, with the elect of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, you see uh, Jake looking like all, all nations, man. You know, and in, every, in all parts of the world. You know, that brother, again, he, he's seen, pretty sure he's seen the apostles and all the elders out in New York. You know, and, and it ended up being why, like the brother told him to, to, to listen to this word, man. The, the, the words of salvation, words of life, you know? Uh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, that scripture where it says, uh, Paul, Paul, water. I mean, Paul, later, Paul, water. That's right, man, because ultimately we're, we're uh, the vessels that the Heavenly Father is using to to distrib distribute this word, man. But ultimately the Heavenly Father is the one that gives the increase, man. You know, the Heavenly Father is the one that's going to give you that gift of faith, you know, and and, and give you the, the, the strength to endure this battle, man, because this is this is going to be a, a constant battle. You know, you battling against the flesh, you know, everything of the Heavenly Father is spiritual, man. You know, righteousness, you know, takes you to, to, uh, to, to, a, to a spiritual, um, a spiritual... How do you say like a, a spiritual connection you know and, and and this world tries to keep you at a, a in a carnal connection man so you're gonna be in a, in a constant battle but the heavenly father is the one that's gonna give you one the faith to to believe in the word so that you could what be holy be separate from these people man and 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 give you the strength to overcome because it's gonna be a constant battle uh, ecclesiastic is the second chapter uh, but it was on the side of that that's right man um if you yeah. get that this is uh first corinthians chapter 3 and verse 6 i have planted apollo water but the heavenly father gave the increase yeah so as the lord get an increase man we out here week in and week out man it might seem like we ain't catching no fish man look man it took it, it, the motorcycle catch it five years is nothing ten years is nothing so it's like, yo, you think about it, hey, the Lord planted, the Lord, my Paul planted, Paul planted, how much you know shy, I mean, a pile of water, but the how much you know shy, give the increase, man. So the increase is them brothers, and those brothers are already marked for salvation, man. You know, we don't know who we, who, who will go down to the brother. We don't know, you know, we ain't got the ticket for sure, but we know that if you out here doing this, doing the work, it's true to sincerity, bruh, hey, how much you know shy is doing with you, man. So you got a healthy, you got a bigger chance than a nigga in the world. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, hey man, that's that increase, man. Then you get that right. increase in knowledge and understanding. You studying to show yourself a proof. Right. Because see, it's not about us. None of us can save anybody. We can't save ourselves, man. But you gotta have a spirit on you what to, to want to learn, the eagerness to want to hear the word, the eagerness to want to read. Nobody put these brothers, put a gun in our head and say, hey, you gotta read the scriptures. Nah, man. We just, we hear the voice of, of Yahweh Shai, man. And we just follow it, man. And then you start eating it up. You start eating, eating the road, man. And yeah, it's gonna get bitter. But it, it, hey, guess what? It's gonna settle in your stomach, and then you're gonna accept it, man. And then you're gonna eventually come out here and do the work, man. I got more on that. First Corinthians chapter three, verse seven. So then, neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but the heavenly Father that giveth the increase. And then right. that's why it's important too for us to take this seriously. We take it seriously. Yeah, how about should be how shy we pick up those other brothers and send them to us? Because we because we're taking it seriously. Right. That's uh you know the the, in, the increase of the of the talent, man. You know, the Lord gave each brother a, a certain portion of, of faith, man. You know, 
time and then different brothers have you know different uh, talents man you know some brothers are researchers some are uh, physicians some are you know uh, deep into the hebrew some are deep into you know uh, different things man and that's right, gonna the herbs the herbs kinda, some brothers are good good uh, physicians now with, with the jewelry with, with anything man you know it's, uh, a brother could come down and just because let's give an example because you got into the stones and then researching what the stones and the energies do for, for you man hey we could be walking but somebody could be walking by and say oh man i like your necklace oh what what you guys all about what is this yeah and then boom right there's an opportunity to, to, to plant the seed man you know? hey, the incense That's people right. stop and like oh most of the smell all that stuff right. man uh -huh. uh, that was it on there uh yeah unless you want those Verse eight. What is it? Verse eight. First Corinthians three, verse eight. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. That's right, because we're one body in Hamashiach, man. Right. So whether we we're the ones that plant the seed, or, or the ones doing the edification, you know, after the the, the seed is planted, we're all one in Hamashiach Yahusha and Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, man. That's right. Because ultimately, the heavenly Father is the one that's given the increase. He's the one that's given us the food. He's the one that's given brothers faith, you know, to, to believe in, in in the truth, man. You know. Oh, there's more in there. Hey, that brother. <coughs> hey, that brother's woman. <coughs> she got excited. Woman said she might be saved, man. Yeah, Most high man had mercy on her, man. Yeah, she got closer to him, man. Did she? She went to his right side too. Yeah, 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 she went yeah, to his right. That's all right. spiritual, man. Yeah, she changed over. She went from the left side to the right yeah, side, man. That, that was spiritual, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, when you told the brother that that, that he was royalty, she kind of like, oh, yeah. there you go. You know, because at first, obviously, they don't know all oh, these guys are preaching the Bible. And they never heard this, you know, like the scriptures say, right. they're like, it's like a, like unto a, a lovely song. You know, they're, they're intrigued, but they don't, they don't really know what this is all about, man. And when the scriptures being broken down and given to you, you know, how it's supposed to be given to you, everything makes sense. Like, oh, you know, because... And then she, when, when he told that brother he was royalty, the girl was like, oh shoot, like, yeah, like, I could feel that he is. Even though he might not be, like you told the yeah. brother, you might not be a, a literal prince right here in, on this side, but something it's, it's about his spirit, spirit yeah, is royalty. Right, like, right. yeah, I could picture him being a king. She was on it. Yeah, that's right. So that's I told right. you she went from the left side to the right side quick, didn't she, bro? Right. That's how the women gonna be, man. That's right. You know, we look at the nigga woman out here, the Latin woman out here. Hey, they on the left side right now, man. They giving into the hands of Esau and the devil. But when all hell break loose, man, they're gonna switch sides quick, bro. Quick, quick bro. Right. Especially when they see the power of the Lord on Akia, man. Right. I got verse 9 too. And the scripture says what? They shall be willing in the day of the Lord's power, man. Right now they unwilling, man. But hey, eventually they're gonna get right. And they're gonna be, they're gonna really be swayed when they see these women that look like the other nations, but they they jakes. Jumping on the the bandwagon before them. Hey, let them have it, bruh. <laughs> it's 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. For we are laborers together with the Heavenly Father. He are the Heavenly Father's husbandry. He are the Heavenly Father's building. That's right. And then, and, and, you know, we're, we're like, if, if this was a construction site, well, it is because we're building that spiritual temple, man. We're all taking part in, in different, you know, different uh, angles of, of the construction man you know but we're all in, in, in one uh, in one spirit you know we're following the same architectural plan that's why you can go anywhere in the world with great mills on that we all speak the same word right we, we're part of the same body we're saying even though we different they call us different camps we're all in the same camp bro that's right. we that's take right. brothers, right. brothers take leadership roles but take subordinate roles man when I go to a different camp and I visit brothers, I don't go there and oh I'm the head of this. No, I'm a brother, man. You know what I'm saying? My right, my, right. my leadership cap is on the on the shelf, man. That's I'm right. putting the I'm putting the servant, I'm putting the uh, subordinate ad on, man. That's right. Until the brother might say, hey, you come up and speak. All right, Kukan. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't go there and try to dictate. That's I'm right. I'm on a, I'm on hey, I'm on another shift, bro. I'm on this shift right here. Then I come back right. here, I'm, I'm I'm you know the head of the I'm I'm a, I'm a foreman. I don't like to say, hey, I'm a foreman, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but you brothers, and hey, and you brothers, when I leave, put on a, you put on different caps, man. Right. So leadership cap, second in command cap. And we're 
still part of the same and body. we still part of the same body building and we doing the same work same hey i'm out here plastering too brother I, I might be out here visiting somewhere but i'm i'm working you know what i said i'm doing the work man you got it brother yeah, yeah. And, and and we all working for that same penny man yep mm -hmm. you know through the spirit, we we encourage brother, like you know, keep on fighting, brother. We mm -hmm. we almost finished with this job. Yep. We don't right. get a rest. We at the know? we at the end of this thing, man. That's right. This and it gets up. sloppy. It get tough, but that's how it always is. When you at the end of something, man, it get real. The dregs, the dregs are always the tougher portion to drink, man. Hey, but we're we're closer to the kingdom than we than we've ever been, man. That's that piece of. It's now high, high time to Romans, uh, uh, Romans 13 and uh, 11. 13 and 11? So, uh, it's a Romans. Yeah, uh, Romans 13 and verse 11. And then knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And when brothers came into this faith, man, you know, the RFID chip was not, the mark of the peace was not as close as it is now, man. You know, the, the time of Jacob's struggle, you know, the time of persecution of, of, of the truth, man. That's right. It wasn't as, as clear as it is now, you know. So now it's salvation nearer than what we believe, man. The chariots are everywhere. Nobody can deny, you know, the, 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 the presence of so-called extraterrestrial light, UFOs. Which we know those are the angels of the Heavenly Father, man. Watching these people, man. Getting ready to come down here and take over this this Hello. planet. You know? Uh, I had this precept in uh, Ephesians 4 and verse 4. Again, uh, going into it, uh, we're all one, one body. It says, uh, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one power and Father of all, who is above all and in you all. And in you all. That's right, man. And also, there's only one power. Again, that, that goes back and covers many things, man. You can be calling the heavenly Father, Jesus and God and whatever the hell you want. Ain't no power in those names, man. Yeah. I seen a, I seen a video of a nigga call up talking about I was like, they I get told more you. Crazy. I was, and I was thinking to myself, what the heck if brothers would have walked up in there in the name of the spirit of how you how about to know the Hey, she'd have been terrified. Okay. Not at us. We have to sight of your how about you know the And the spirit of the Lord. That's right, man. So you know we Oh uh, we're not like, you know, these other uh alphabetical camps, man. You know, you have Israelites, you know, that, that are calling on Christ, calling on a on, on a higher a bunch of names, man, and they come together in one in, in, in so-called unity camps. And, and what happens in these unity camps? Nothing but a disorder, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. division amongst themselves. You know, and that lets you know that they're not one in, in, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, the scripture says uh, we're supposed to be of one doctrine, a one. I mean, of one speech, man. Right. It's supposed to be a double speech, two speech. You, know, you just can't say in this thing, this can't say in that thing. That's off, man. Two walk together. And exactly, man. But you got a lot of dudes that just want to try to put themselves up on on, on on a platform and 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 try to make themselves sound deep. And that's really what it's about with most of those other camps. But you see it with the with they bring their women. Yeah. And the reason why they bring their women is because the women see other women gathered around them. Hold on. What's the question? Alright, okay, I'll take that. If you know if you know the uh that'll be dictated by the new moon. Yeah, according to the scripture, it's always about the new moon. So it's not Saturday, it's Sunday. It's probably Saturday. If they go on Friday and Saturday, it's all it's all about the new moon. You gotta work, gotta work to survive, right? You gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat, you gotta eat man. Go ahead, bro. 
No, I was saying that that's really what it's all about with them. A lot of them other camps. When you see them with all the women around them. Yeah. Because they know when women are gathered around men, other women that go by, they're gonna stop and watch. Hey, well even even Tupac said that shit. He you said know? I make he said he make music for the women, man. That's right. Because they're gonna buy the records, man. Mm-hmm. And and the niggas, niggas gonna follow whatever the women do because they wanna be around the women, man. It's like the, this world, this this whole world revolves around the women, man. You go into any shopping store, you go into any, even the supermarket, man. They, the first thing you see is things that are targeted for women all the way into, you know, they put the shit that men need in the back. Yeah. So like, even yeah. If, if the woman's going to go buy her man something, she got to walk through the whole store and buy a bunch of shit she don't need and then get to the stuff that, that she was initially going to buy. You ever had your woman like, you know? I went to the store with all that stuff, I didn't even want this. Yeah. Why? Because she was easily swayed by those uh, sales and all the clothing, man. Yeah, and then, and not just, and that, but anything, man. You know, they always go for women, oh, look, do this, do this, and they convince them quick, you know, to get a subscription or whatever, or upgrade the fucking solar panels or whatever, yeah. man. You know? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah. Oh, I had a quick preset. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, this is uh, Second Timothy's uh, chapter three, verse one. Know this also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own, lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankfully, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. That's right, and that's what we see in this society, man. You know, people are, are, are just full of themselves. They think that, you know, the world revolves around them, you know? Uh, 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 can you read some of the first ones? Uh, uh, it says, uh, for, for men shall be lovers of their, self, their own selves, covetous. Hey, you see everybody taking a selfie? Mm-hmm. And covetous that everybody want what everybody else got? Right. You want you want another man's woman? Uh, you, you, niggas get off. Niggas get a, a thrill of taking another man's woman, man. Or having sex with another man's woman. And the women, they're with it too, man. They're on the phone while they getting pounded out by another man. Right. So they're covered as women want other things. Women want another man, even though they got a man. They see a man that's doing good, better than the one that they currently got, and they, they'll leave their man to try to seek after this guy's attention, man. Right. So they're covered as, uh, it says, proud. Hey, that, pride. Not, this world is nothing but prideful, man. And they think that that's a good thing in the sight of the Lord. You got these lesbians and homosexuals they're they're emboldened by their pride i'm proud that's nothing to be proud about that's a, that's a disgrace man according to the scriptures according to the word of the heavenly father you proud you just just niggas just proud proud to be demons man right. niggas is proud that they scammers all this shit man wickedness man it says uh uh proud blasphemers blasphemers hey look at nate man look at yohanna man they blessed us the name of the Most High, man. That nigga Nate went to the, uh, the to the woods. They're like, oh look, they wrote the name of the Heavenly Father name and his son name on a on a rock, and then they they made fun of it, man. Yeah, they like, oh look, we we found the Paleo Hebrew. What does that say? It's a straight up nigga, man. You know. The one one of his one of his lieutenants said you can call the the Most High yo play yogurt. What? Yeah. And then, no fear. Hey, no niggas ain't got no fear, man. But then they want you to 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 call Nate uh, Nathaniel, Bishop, Bishop Nathaniel. Bishop. Fuck Nate, man. Put some respect yeah, on his fuck name. Nate. Fuck Nate. Fuck fuck Nate. Fuck Yohanna. You know, exactly. yeah, you come up, you come up in my face. You come up in any of our faces. That shit, bro. We gonna tell you to turn around the other way, bro. Right. Hey, cause I told, even I know I got glasses on, but I be damn if a nigga with glasses pump me, man. Ain't nobody scared of, nobody scared of no big. Three ton nigga that can't move. So I'm talking about some hey, and he even talked to an elder. That man was that man could have been his father. You know what I'm saying? That was a rock, man. I mean, regardless of what he got going on, that's up to the apostles, man. They do they know we have personally, man. Like, yo, man, you don't do that. It was out of order, bro. Hell yeah. Man, he is a man been serving in the truth for over 30 plus years. And you you walk you ran him once, you run down on him like he's just some I'm, like like my nigga Charlie Murphy said, like I'm that nigga that's still on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fuck out of here, bro. And, and, and even when the elder was trying to address it privately, he, he was still all... Trying to make it public. Yeah. 
That's a nigga. Yeah. A nigga want his spectacle, man. Yeah, that's a wicked ass nigga. Dang and a little girl kill that nigga, man. Lisi repent. It says, uh, parent, uh, uh, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. You got, you got Jake that come in the truth, man, and then they bite the hand that fed him, man. That's right. You know, you hear it is, you wouldn't know nothing about the truth had it not been for Yahweh Bashim Shai putting the spirit on the apostles and the elders and the brothers on them. That's right. And then you come in here and then you leave un mad, disgruntled, or whatever. And you unthankful to the ones that taught you, man. Listen, bro, none of us knew shit prior to hearing the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai through the apostles and the elders. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what you was doing in life, bro. You ain't know nothing. None. So you need to be thankful to the Lord. Right. You need to be thankful to the Lord that he set up men as your spiritual fathers, your parents, to teach you, man. That's right. But then you come out, you, you leave, whatever. You need, you got dudes that was a with great no so that did that, man. You bugging out, man. And, and, and even Jake in the world, man. You had, um, uh, what's the last week or the week before you had that, that Jake? He was like 22 year old. And he mom. killed his mom because she was telling him to, to stop being lazy and to do work. Get a man. job. You know? He shot him in the head, man. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. And, that, and nobody felt bad that, that his uncle went in depth. When his uncle went depth, that's the real sentence for that. Right. He's like, hey, that nigga, he said that nigga needed to be in jail for the rest of his life, man. Right, man. Hey, niggas, there's a lot of niggas in jail for killing their parents, man. But, it, it, you know, the most side don't turn around on him anyway. Right. Hey, because the judgment for that is death. Bro. You can't come back from that. And the scripture says, uh, the scripture says, uh, uh, honor thy father and thy mother, and our days shall be wrong. It's the first law with a promise, man. Right. So if you dishonor your, your, your father and your mother, you're going to be out of here, man. There's a lot of you jakes out here dishonoring your father and your mother. Man. Out here, you got fathers in the house or outside, and you dishonor them. You won't, you won't suffer the same fate as that nigga in the jail. Yeah, and, and, and even if you don't dishonor him like that harsh, you know, like killing them or something like that. Hey, if you if you are a, a Israelite woman and you out here being a whore playing the harlot, you dishonoring your father, your father man. Yep, you dishonoring know, dishonoring your father. So hey, this, I'm sorry, but yeah. So all of you are gonna be judged, man. The scriptures say, um, uh. Be ye not deceived, for the heavenly Father is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. Yep. You know. And then you, uh, you gonna you gonna pay for that, man. That's right. You gonna pay for that, man. You let your mother teach you how to hate your father. You know, she gonna pay for it. You gonna pay for that, man. That's right. Hey, your father, what your father did and didn't do, hey, that's up to him. That's between him and the Most High, man. All he had to do is bring you here on his on his earth. Okay? That's he, right. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why your father and your mother may not be as strong in your life because of the person. And, it, and it, that, that woman came from uh, West Africa and she's still under the curses, man. She was living in the projects. You know what I'm saying? She's living in the projects. I don't know where the father was at. You know? So they, they're living in the curses, man. You can't escape the curses. side of the story. Yeah, the woman's the mother, side. The woman's yeah. side. Yeah. You know, because I, I grew up with a lot of dudes that used to hate their father. Yeah. And then when they finally spoke to their father and their father tell them, yo, your mom's wouldn't let me see. Yeah, your mom's a demon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your mom's yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. demon. You know? She ain't I let me see. Man. I couldn't be with her. Yeah, I wanted to come pick you up and, and celebrate your birthday. What's going on? Yeah. But he wanted to do something good. Yeah. And the mom's wouldn't let him. Yeah. So what are they going to do? They're having a mom. They're having a mom, man. Well, yeah. Most of his kids. Most of his kids, his women were mad that he went with him and, and, and they refused to let him see his kid, man. That happened to me with my daughter. Standing outside of the rain in the cold, crying, yeah. bruh. Because yeah. he couldn't yeah. see his kids, man. Yeah, it's like uh, that movie, uh, The Joker. That's what 
you know, that nigga thought that his mom was this loving lady and all yeah. this shit. But at the end of it, she was a fucking, you know, a nutcase. Yeah, bro. A nutcase. Say that she's on my uh To you, but not to your father. That's right. She wasn't. She wasn't in order. You women act like y'all was a quintessential wives. Like y'all was just working at home. Man, these bitches talking about some. Oh yeah, you know, in a, in a back in the day, the black woman she was getting beat by her husband and the white man. No, get the fuck out of here, bro. If she was in order, it was cool. It's when she jumped out of order, he had to dis. He might have to discipline her sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna tell another man what he can do and can't do with his property. You know what I'm saying? That's his business. And as we know, growing up, as grown men, these women are nothing but children. You women, you like shiny shit. You want attention, huh? You gotta get fed. You gotta get clothed. And you still, and you still, and then you not still, uh, it's still not enough. You still ungrateful, man. You see? Fucking demons, man. Like yeah, they're children, man. Women are children, bro. Huh? Straight up, they just grown men toys. That's all it is, man. They, they, yeah. I was thinking about that last night, man. I was like, yeah, man. These women, they're really, they really, uh, their their value is overstated, exactly. and the man's value is understated uh, in this society. You see? You start making that way. Yeah. Especially when you continue to be the vice president. Now. Yeah, that me, that team. Now, if it's possible for women to throw up anymore, they gonna throw up some more. Oh, yeah. They got a chick who's in a position. They embolden through. Yeah, they embolden. Right. Hey, and she, and she, but she's in order to that white man. She ain't cussing him out, calling him a nigga, an ain't shit. She ain't trying to throw him in prison. He, he, he's divorced. She's raising, she, she raising his kids, man. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't got no problem being step mammy to no Edomite, man. Yeah, and, and, and they, they waiting for, for that seed of the, of the Edomite or whatever. Oh, that bitch ain't giving a show. that she dropping no more babies. Oh, oh. Kamala Harris. Oh, no, no, no. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, you know, our women, Want to get uh, seed, get oh, yeah. seed to these other fucking uh, nations? Yeah. Man. I want some. I want a baby that's light skinned yeah. with good him. hair. Hey, you, I, that's a, you know, I, I mean, it, it's a Latin woman, it's a Latin, and it's a oh, black hell, woman, man. Yeah, they both like that. Hey, don't get it twisted, man. That Latin woman, man, she know what it is. She know what hypergamy is, man. And she, she uh, hypergamy or hypergamy when she marrying up with an Edomite. I saw, I saw a West African wedding, and the, 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 the groom was an Edomite. And he wanted to go kiss his woman and shit. And she turned her cheek like this. <laughs> she like, ugh. But she she mad this nigga because she was married up. She want them green back. She want that visa. Yeah. She want to take trips. She want them savings. She want that nice house. She want to stay at home. She want to stay at home. So you see, when it comes to the Negro, Latino, Native American man, you bitches, you want to get your job. Oh, I want, I'm an independent bitch. I got to get my own bed. You mad at Kevin Sand? Put your ass in place. But like, Kevin Sand, you don't quit sometimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's, it's a grown nigga. Hey, he, he be on point when it comes to you women, man. Hey, the jig is up. Right. The jig is up, man. You bitches, wait till you get 40. Now you want to. I'll tell you, get on, man. I'll tell you, brother, the story at the camp, bro. Because it's disgusting. You bitches, you, you wait till you get 40 years old. Now you got to listen to men. I'm practicing abstinence. I'm abstaining from sex. And in the same conversation, the bitches tell you, oh, yeah, I want to fuck you. I don't know what you know what I'm saying? I thought you was that bitch. I thought you was a, uh, that's another word for it, celibate. Hey, how the fuck you gonna be celibate and you don't let everybody fuck, man? You sell it up. Now all of a sudden when it comes to this dude, now you wanna wait. I wanna wait. Listen to the Steve Harvey dumbass. That big potato head nigga. Listen to him. Think like a man. But you can't think like a man. That's right. If you do, you gonna go crazy. How to think like a man. I think yeah. you think like a man and you're a woman. Yeah, you're a whole fucking woman, bro. You can't think for yourself. That's in the scriptures. That's right. Out of order. That's what it is. 
And Esau liked it that way. You see that with the woman heading these households, everything is out of order. I don't care if she's a hard discipline to her children, it's out of order. I see the way you Negro, Latino, Native American women discipline your children, man. And it's disgusting. You do it in all this emotion. You do it all erratic, crazy. You don't tell a kid why he in trouble. So he just come home and get fucked up. She just come home, she's getting fucked up. Well, don't, don't fuck him up for it all. They messed up your makeup. Yeah. But then the kid goes in and does some, some real wickedness. And oh no, poor kid, he's just That's a my baby. I gotta get this lawyer money up for my son. This nigga's a robber! Yeah, hey. Nigga was robbing, I got a cousin. My cousin that took the jab. My cousin Erica that took the jab. Her son is in fucking prison. She makes sure this nigga got the best sneakers. She makes sure his money with this nigga's books. No! I was like, I ain't why is this nigga locked up? I was like, I like, I thought I said something. I said the wrong thing. I, I, I was like, yo, I said he locked up for burglary, ain't he? She's like, no, burglary? Hell no, try again. That's what he locked up for. Three attempted murders. Fuck this nigga, man. Hey, fuck that nigga, yo. I don't like, I was like, oh, fuck this nigga. I could have worked with a nigga that was stealing, because he might have been, he might have been hungry. Yeah, yeah, hell This nigga trying to kill some niggas? Oh, hell no, he, he ain't never coming home, bro. You know what you want? Next time you gonna see that nigga in the kingdom of heaven, bro. You gonna see that nigga in the kingdom, bro. I got a cousin, I got another female cousin. This bitch, she locked up for murder. Because her, her son lied and said that, uh, her son lied and said this homeless man had hit him when he he, he came home late on his bike. She's gonna fuck him up, you know? She, and that's how she talked to him, too. I'm gonna fuck your ass up, motherfucking bitch. Ah, ah, ah. Right? And then as soon as he came home and lied and said that the homeless man hit him, she, she put everybody in the car, all her kids, what? and her girlfriend, hopped in the car, then went around the corner, beat this homeless man to death. They got it on video. <coughs> They got it on video. They even made Tommy Son of Mayor show. Yeah. You know, Tommy Son of Mayor, he be getting on them bitches. And she, she, they, now the bitches serve 25 at life. Yeah. You know when she coming home? In the kingdom of heaven, man. They, they had those girls that stabbed the other the uh, teenager in the Oh, yeah. Walmart. You see how they're bone and proud they was? Yeah, like, oh my God, yes, they're that bitch. Look at them, they're my ah! Wait, like, like, bitch, there's no penalty for all this shit? Because the woman in this society, she's been unchecked. Like Esau, hey, give us some pictures about the woman, man. Uh, bring it up. Yeah, uh, this quick one, because yeah, like you, you mentioned, every, all, all these things come because of pride, man. You know, women don't want to be in order. Even the men, you know, Jake doesn't want to be in order, and that's a pride, man. You know, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, right? so like Ecclesiastes 16 and verse 12. It says, for the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Heavenly Father. And that's right. You have departed from the Heavenly Father. How have you departed from your Ha'abashim Yahushai? You worshiping these other idols, these idols, these so-called other gods. There are no gods. You take it holy to the to the philosophy of Esau, Edom. Following after your own heart. Following after your own heart, the lust of your own heart. And his heart is turned away from his maker. That's right. Here you go. You, you as, as Israelites, man, the Heavenly Father gave you an instruction, but you know how to act, or what to do and what not to do, man. But you departed from Him that created you, and, and, and to, to do and what? Uh, a bunch of That's it. That's the, it. The, the scriptures say, oh, ha, how has thou become a, 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 degenerate, a plan. degenerate plan unto me, man? Yep. You know? Uh, verse 13. Yeah, because the Lord didn't create us to be in this mind state. He didn't create us to be wicked. He didn't create us to be uh, uh, um, lawbreakers, man. That's right. That's right. He created us to be a noble vine to himself, man. We supposed to be the top tier people on the earth. Mm -hmm. When the other nations look at us, they're supposed to be enamored by the way that we follow our laws and the statutes and commandments and how we treat one another mm -hmm. and how we worship our power to know that only our God is the only real power. That's what he created us to do. He didn't create us to be homosexuals, lesbians, fags, you put it on your spirit because that's the lust of your body, that's what you was doing in your previous life, all that wickedness, but that's not what you were created for. You were set up to be right, hey, like, I don't know if you ever seen Star Wars, man, but when Obi-Wan Kenobi was beating uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker before he turned to dark, well, he was already Darth Vader, he cut his arms off, man, he said, he's like, he didn't, Obi-Wan Obi didn't understand the prophecy, but he was like, hey, man, you were supposed to be the chosen one. 
you were supposed to be the one that set it right. He said, he said, how, how did it, how did you come, how did it come to such a pass, man? But he had to fall in order to come back up because that was, the prophecy was he was going to take down the dark side, and he did. Okay, which Darth Vader was the good guy. You know, that whole Republic shit. That's Esau. You know, and it was the return of the what? The Jedi return to Judah. The point of the matter is, is that they had to come a falling away first, and then the end was going to come. So we fell away, but Jake is happy in their fall. They're not trying to get back up. That's pride. Man. But to uh, you know, and, and back to honoring your father and your mother, man. Our father is the, the heavenly father, Yahweh, and, and and our mother is wisdom, man. You know, and here you go, the heavenly father basically is giving us rules like, look, you can't do this, you you, you could do this, you can't do this, you know, and, and by you disobeying the law, statutes, and commandments, you disobeying your heaven, your, your father, man, you know, and, and you're bringing dishonor to, to the heavenly father, you have it, man, you know. Uh, verse 13 says, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination, and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly, man. That's right, so the Lord overthrew us. Why? Because of, of our pride, man. Because, you know, we all uh, fell off from the law, statutes, and commandments from following Him, you know? And that's why our people are in, in the condition that they're in, man. You know? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 25, and verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. There you go, man, because, hey, when you lose your mind, man, that's the worst, man. You, you really out there, man. You had your mind plagued with demons. So that you don't want that. Just like, well, you can compare that to the, the, the wickedness of a woman, man. That's right. That's cool. That's what I'm saying, but uh, that's, the, uh, that's the thing. You don't want that because that's what these women bring in, man. The majority of these women out here, they ain't bringing nothing but wickedness, man. They ain't, they're not really adding no value to your life, man. That's right. And I did a video this morning about uh, what marriage was concerning, uh, uh, as it is concerning in the Bible, man. Because IUIC said that sex is not marriage, man. It said no sex is not marriage. And you, you a liar, man. Uh, I brought out, all I had to bring out was like two scriptures. And then I found a dope, a dope article, man. This article was so good, man. I was like, I had to do the video. It said that... Uh, and uh, Israelite men in the ancient world, uh, you were allowed to have more than one wife, concubines, and uh, some prostitutes, man. And it said that, it said that, uh, monogamy was the one way to treat you. Meaning the woman had to be monogamous to you. It was a one way street. But I bring that up to say that that was order back then, man. And, and the, you know, the, the, the word marriage itself, it means union, man. How do you, how do you bring two? Two bodies together, man, by sexual intercourse. That's how you bring two bodies together. But, but, but the world, Esau, you know, he wants to put a, a union according to him, not according to the heavenly Father, but according, but according to him by law, by law, you know, by bondage, man. You know, which is it's, it's wickedness, man. <coughs> you had something up? Keep reading, bro. Keep reading. Keep reading, bro. Don't worry about it. Keep reading. Keep reading, bro. Oh, it's fine. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, and verse 14. And any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me. Yeah, because the, 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 who the ones that hate? Who's the ones that hate us, man? Esau, Edom, and our people, man. Right. The same ones that hate God, watch them outside. Yeah. And any revenge, but the revenge of enemies. Yeah, because right. hey, that, that, that revenge of an enemy is always terrible, man. Right. Verse 15, there is no head above the head of a serpent, yeah. and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. Yeah. Verse 16, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. It is, man. And that's 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 the women of our nation, man. And I see it, I see it all the time with both you the, the Negroes and you Latinos, man. You women, you out of order, man. You are out of complete fucking order, man. You have no discretion about yourselves. You have no patience. You have no integrity. Some woman was saying, and they, they getting on her. She was saying, basically, all you women that got these holy fans, they just 
said you hit rock bottom, man. She said, if, she said if you gotta sell your pussy, if you gotta show you getting yourself getting fucked by somebody else, you you hit rock bottom. And these girls talking about some no, I'm not. I ain't hit rock bottom. I'm just being independent. You a hater? Yeah, you a hater. Oh, that's rock bottom. That's a, that's the lowest of the low. You have to give your body up. That's like it's like you got nothing else to give. Your integrity, man. You don't have nothing else. You ain't got nothing else to give. So you give your body up, like the brother said, that integrity is like non-existent with the woman, man. You ain't even thinking about the time that you're in. The detrimental time that you're in. You got women out here partying. The bitches is on boats. I never see hoes with men. Where's your men at? Where's your job at? How do you got how do you get how do you get all this time off from work? You know what I'm saying? Look, they can't be. They can't be because shit, I know. <laughs> hey bro, I barely get to go anywhere, bro. I ain't got a job. I ain't got that. I'm working. I'm doing the work of the Lord. I'm doing the real work. Show you, bro. God damn. Woo! Shit. I ain't seen the face of that. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. Hey, that's right. And that's the mindset of you women, man. Your heart is full of what? Snares and nets, man. Tricks and things that get a man caught up. The reason why you put all that cake up on your face is to get a man caught up. You wear them tight ass dresses to get a man caught up. You looking for the you looking for the right man. Like I saw a video, you got these two nigga women, and this dude he had these high end cars and shit, and the bitch didn't want to give me no play. Then soon she seen hop in the car. Now she wanna. Yeah, yeah. One bitch yeah. said, "Oh, I, 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 you know I'm all about the money. I'm all about money. I told you I like money. That's what you bitches like. You know, you bitches like to live a, a lifestyle of pleasure and leisure." Like the scripture says, she that lives in pleasure is dead while she lives, man. And that's the majority of the women of our, of our nation, man. Right. Especially the Babylonian women here in America, man. You don't know what it is to be humble, man. I'm telling you, man. And you bitches can spend 24 hours in South America, man. You would want to get back, you want to get out the first hour, man. They humble down there, but they got washed clothes by hand. They got fetch pails of water. They pretty. Yeah, they gorgeous. Hey, but that they humble. Why? Because they're in a, a humble state. If they were here in America, they'd be just as terrible as the women in America, hey. man. Because these Sim these OJ Simpson niggas, they would have got all over them, man. Oh, you the queen, me, you the my lord, you my you the my goddess. What the <laughs> fuck? Right. Hey you niggas out like you ain't never seen no box before, bro. Go ahead. Uh, again, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman. Whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands are b as bands. Whoso pleaseth the heavenly Father shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. That's right, man. And, and that goes uh, twofold for for men that are chasing uh, women, and and and, and these are the philosophies, man. Because again, the, the one of the the, the the major ways that Jake, the, the, the men of Israel, start following after these wicked philosophies is through the woman. You know, all, all baby live is getting to Buddhism or this or that. Oh, please, oh, just come with me. And then Jake, you know, he, he'd be like, all right, let's go. You know? Simple. And again, it says, Whoso pleaseth the heavenly father shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. That's right. And if you following after everything your woman says, you know, going following after these other religions gods whatever it is man hey you're gonna be destroyed ultimately man because you ain't supposed to be following after no damn fucking woman you know you're supposed to follow after yeah man you know i had a, a some friends visit hawaii man and one of my uh, boys proposed to his woman and we were we were at the at the engagement dinner or whatever and my woman was like, oh, I wish you did that. And I, this is just straight what I told her, bro. That's why like, you don't go to that shit. This is what I told her. I'm like, nah, I don't bend the knee for nobody. Only your hobbies. That's right. That's right. That's it, bro. Right. That's, right. That's, that's, that's it, bro. That's right. I got asked 7,000 men that have that's not right. bowed a knee to buy off, man. Hey, the day, of, the day of bending knee is over, bitch. <laughs> that shit is yeah, gone, bro. yo. Fuck it's that. never coming back. Do don't look for it. It is weak. Yeah, I'm weak. I'm like, damn, that's a hey, weak shit, bro. I, I killed myself in the world for that shit, man. Yeah, I'll never do bro. that shit. Like, yo, man. The Wadi Habashi Mao Shai didn't do it on this shot. side, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we did it before. Hey, it's, it's cool. Yeah, hell yeah. It's cool because yeah, at the end of the day, we ain't doing it now. That's right. That's bitch. right, man. Yeah, I say, I put that bitch in your place. I let, you know, I let a bitch talk, man. Let her think she getting somewhere. You ain't getting nowhere, man. Look, I, I ain't got no time. 
we ain't got no time for that, bro. I'm not getting married. I ain't walking you down the aisle. And it gets so bad, these hoes be like, oh, I'll just go to the justice of the peace. Yeah, that, that's how that's how thirsty he is, bitch. Yeah, so. you know if I got this, bitch. Yeah, I, got, I, I, got, I don't know I got contract. A quick, a quick go ahead, brother. For and you know you saw push that agenda too. But women out of here think that man came from them. Yeah. But believe this scripture, Genesis two verse twenty three, and Adam said, "This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Yeah. She shall be called woman." Because she was taken out of man. Yep. And the scripture says a woman, I mean, the woman was made for the man. That's right. Not the, uh, not the man for the woman. Man for the woman. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you bitches got it all confused, man. They should be kneeling to us. But they don't want to. They say pride. That's that pride, man. Yeah, and that uh, proposing and all that shit bending the knees. You're that, submitting that, that, to that woman coming? That's, that's all right. it is. And she wants to submit to you. And she stands there. She stands there and look down on you, yo. Like yeah, this. Bro. Like this. Like, what the fuck? Some bitches even, you know, even reject, you know, the, the, the man, like, oh yeah, know, all the time. Go, this motherfucker planned this whole fucking proposal Labor shit, proposal. yeah, and then the bitch will fucking embarrass him in front of thousands, thousands of people, people man. Bro. It get on YouTube, now everybody see it, it's on World Star. everybody laughing at bro, <laughs> but then you got like, the, like my man Kevin Senior says, man, he said one out of eight black bitches get married, man. That's right. So here it is, you about to beat the cutoff, and now you missed it, wow, because you want something else. That's, that, that's what Jake was doing. You you thought that you were gonna go to these other idols, these other gods, and get something better than what you had in your house and your was shy, man. Right. That goes to show too. People don't know the real meaning when you submit. When you when you bow down to someone with your knee, that's total submission. Yeah, that's total submission. Right. That, right. That's just giving your whole yeah. mind, soul, and body to yeah. that person. Yeah, that's and what I, it means. I believe one of the definitions you know? of uh, a blessing is is, 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 is bend the knee, bow, yeah, bend the knee, man. So here it is, you get this bitch a blessing, and she give you a curse, man. That's what I said, man. Like, nah, you bitches, you going, you women, you gonna bow, man. You gonna bow before the kingdom come. That's right. You gonna bow, man. And I don't care what you say, how you feel about it. I don't care what OJ Simpson say, Homer Simpson say, it don't matter. You are going to bow the knee. Hey, that hey, 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 that white dude, hey, the one eat the mic from the Seahawks. Hey, this dude, he beat his woman because he wouldn't bow to him, man. He only beat that bitch to death, bro. Because the bitch yeah. wasn't about him. That was her simple ass. She was fucking with Esau anyway. He, uh, he, beat, he beat the brakes off that bitch. And then he said, uh, and she was still alive. Because you know the, the nigga woman is hard to kill. Yeah. So he was like, he was like, he was like, you still alive? <laughs> Damn. He was like, he started laughing. She's like, he was drinking his shake. And he said, you're still yeah. alive? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that bitch was still alive. Because yeah. she's a diehard, man. The nigga woman is a diehard, bro. I'm telling you, you got to do. A thousand things in this bitch to get her out of here, bruh. Okay. And it still ain't enough, man. And the Lord gotta take her out, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, he said he, said he beat the bitch up because she wasn't bound to him, man. Now, you know, whatever. You know, he could be a Jake, could be an Edomite, whatever. He lost his job behind him shit. <clears throat> That's the thing, man. As the scripture says, many men have gone out of their wits for a woman, man, and become their servants, man. That the, the definition of the word bow in the ontology dictionary bending the head or body or knee as a sign of reverence or submission or shame or greeting. Yeah, yeah. So when you bow, you, you submit. Only you, one we're supposed to submit to is your how about you, how shy, and to one another. That's right. right. To our leaders, to our leaders, man. Right. And even our leaders tell us, hey, even our the men that's over us tell us, hey, don't, you ain't got to bow to me, man. Right. I'm, I'm your fellow servant. And like the angel told uh, Judd. But nonetheless, we're supposed to serve the Lord because that's what you end up doing in this world. You get that marriage contract, you in service to this woman. Even if she got the most uh, sordid history, okay, this bitch still come in with a list of demands. Talking about some, you did this to me, you destroyed me. Bitch, I didn't destroy you. I had to tell her, I'll tell you the story. But I had to tell her, bitch, I had to tell her, I was like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't, tell, I didn't make you do what you did, you did that. Yeah, I don't care if I was a slacky, I don't care if you was frustrated about something, you gotta take responsibility for what you did. You did that. So now you now you now you out there by yourself. And ain't nobody finna come save you, man. You know what I'm saying? And still, they can put on a white garment yeah. and all of a sudden you clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and, and and that contract with Esau, man, you know. You get yourself into that contract and you better like like they fucking say happy happy wife happy, happy life. life yeah if you don't please these fucking women you know they, they take everything you got man yeah you know 
And it, she's supposed to please you. And the scripture says, if she's not pleasing, you can cut her off. If she's not pleasing to go where you will, hey, cut her off, give her a bill of divorce, and cut her off from your flesh, man. Let her go with nothing, bro. Yeah, she's supposed to That's be with it, nothing. Yeah. Like you go her. even even if if your fucking woman do some crazy shit, she's unpleasant to live with, she cheat on you, whatever, and you got a divorce, you still gotta give her shit. Like, yeah, you gotta give fuck? that bitch get half, man. Like Dr. Dre White. That's why that nigga had a fucking aneurysm. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause he she's about to take all his money. He did all that uh, fornicating with Issa, all that uh <laughs> homicidal <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know, push that gangster rap shit, all to go broke behind some light skinned bitch, man. And the bitch said, and the bitch is so forward. She said she gave him his name. So she tried to take the rights to this nigga's name, bro. That's how you see, she don't want you to have shit. Hey, the woman is a terrible man. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. black woman. Hey, everything, bro. Uh, 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 this is uh, back in Ecclesiastes 7. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 27. It says, Behold, this have I found, say the preacher, count them one by one to find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man amongst a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. So it's not, it's not, no such thing as a righteous woman. None of the women on this side are righteous, man. They all with you. That's right. It's just, it's just about how much you get. You know what I'm saying? That's right. What, you, what can you bear? <laughs> That's that trouble in the flesh, man. That's right, man. You know, because our, our first love and our first woman is the scriptures, man. And I've been in situations where the woman was, uh, she was offended because, jealous, because I was into the scriptures, man. But she called herself a Christian. See? When they start immersing themselves in the scriptures, man, and she get offended by that woman. And then how much more any other woman? All right, man. That's why Yahweh by Shemar Shai called the wisdom, uh, Sophia. That's, yeah. that's the only one you're supposed to do. Yeah. And she gonna be faithful to you, man. Faithful to us, she's gonna be faithful to you, man. That's right. And uh, she try you out to make sure you you capable of handling it. You gonna go through hell, and then she'll uh, through the spirit part of your house, you outside. That wisdom is gonna bring is gonna bring you up, and it's gonna hold you, gonna hold on to you, man. Uh, but please, because before the women were created, before you know anything was created, man. Lord willing, we be part of the elect. You know, wisdom was before everything, man. You know, and this is why it says in Revelation 2 and, and 4, it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love, which is what? Wisdom, man. Women were created through wisdom by it, by the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, man. And if we be of those men, we created the women, you know, by through wisdom, man. And that's why it says that it's our first love, man. You know, that's why... Uh, uh, Songs of Solomon, what is that speaking about? Wisdom, man. That's a poem that King Solomon wrote about wisdom. It wasn't about no damn fucking woman. It was about wisdom, yeah, it man. Wasn't no woman, it wasn't no woman speaking. Those were the words of King Solomon, man. That's right. He was speaking in, he was speaking in, uh, what they call it, metaphors, man. That's right. Because, uh, you know, through wisdom, all things are, man. You know, a really paraphrasing uh, wisdom of Solomon. I believe it's the fifth chapter. It says, "Uh, that what? Or uh, if if uh, if thou desire riches, or uh, or what is uh what is richer than wisdom, which worketh all things, man? You know, and and this wisdom, the wisdom of the heavenly Father, man, it, it it works all things because through it everything was created, man. You know, and this is what we're supposed to be looking at here. We're supposed to be searching uh, for the truth, man, for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding." Because ultimately, that's what's going to keep us sane in the times of trouble, man. Yeah, and that's what's keeping brothers sane now, man. Yeah, your, uh, your woman, your oh, material possession in this world is not going to protect you from all hell breaks. Okay? Right. It's not going to keep you stable in that thing. They're going to be unstable. The world's going to be unstable. So you got to have something that's going to anchor you down spiritually for these hard times to come, man. And that's the word. That's the truth. Okay? And that's going to keep you sane. You ain't going to bug out. When you see a, a hundred people getting slaughtered at one time, a thousand people dead at one time, you ain't gonna get bug you ain't gonna be bugging out. Hey, when the man, when the enemy come in, like a flood, because you know that your how about Shah is gonna work, protect us. He gonna have you. He gonna have mercy on you. The, the, when you a shorty, when you have a shorty in that, hey, can't nothing shake you, man. 
But if you lacking that, okay, if you sold to the things of the world, guess what? This world's going to pass away, and you right along with it. There's nothing that Esau has that can deliver us, man. Nor does Esau want to deliver us, man. So why look at him as a deliverer? Why look at anything in this world? And the scripture says, riches profit not in the day of wrath. So when the wrath of the Lord come upon, upon you, you can't pay you can't pay the Most High off with FRNs, gold and silver. Why? One, because everything that's in the earth belongs to the Most High. Two, FRNs ain't even real money. Three, uh, you still here, man. Like I, I see a lot of these rappers sometimes like you're like, yo, how you how you so-called you, you claim you rich, you entertainers, you athletes, uh you whatever, you uh, entrepreneurs, you got all this fucking money, but you're still in America, man. Because you don't understand what's going down. If you had any smarts, you get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else, man. But see, you like you like this place. You like oppression. You like you like to have this 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 liberty of uh to do whatever you want, man. Okay, you can't you, you can't go to certain countries and live the way you live in America, man. So that's why you're still here. But really, you're still here for ju for judgment, man. You got Jake in the millions coming up from uh, down South America right now as we speak, trying to rush the gate. They they don't understand it. They rush. They running. They're walking right into a burning building. You know, some uh, some of them people gonna be saved, but a lot of them people gonna be destroyed, man. Trying to seek a better life, and the scripture says. The, uh, um, thou is trusted in the people that could not profit you, nor was a prophet to you, man. That the shame of Pharaoh is going to be your shame, man. You trusted in the shadow of Egypt, you will be destroyed. Yeah, I was looking for that preset, man. Uh, so, Isaiah 31 and verse 1, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And the word woe meaning destruction. To you go ahead and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many yeah because esau esau can't save you these cars and can't save you these planes can't save you helicopters none of that but you trust in all of that shit because it's many go ahead um and in horsemen because they are very strong yeah but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek yahweh by shim shot yeah see you're not seeking a real power man Right. You're not you're not you're not trying to be see the one that brought these things upon us, man. You going to Esau thinking that Esau can deliver you, and Esau's trying to destroy you, man. And this man, uh Sleepy Creepy Joe, came out with all kinds of executive orders, man. 47. 47. Okay, he's a straight up dictator at this point, man. That's right. He's an old, crusty, diabolical dictator. That's right. And you, Jake, you trust in this man. You actually think that he's going to deliver you. He put that black bitch in office with him, and you think that, oh, oh well, that Super Elite put her ass in there for whatever reason. And then blow you ass to sleep, man. She ain't, she ain't going to deliver you. When has, the, when, when has the black woman ever delivered? Why was she delivered? When did she deliver? Never. She can't deliver herself. But you trust in them, you're going to be destroyed. Go ahead. Right. See, America is going to be destroyed. All 50 states. It's going to be eradicated off the planet Earth, man. It's going to be the biggest desert. So you trusted in something that's got no lifeline, man. Go ahead. Right. Uh, verse 2, it says, Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers yep. and against the help of them that work iniquity. That's, that's, that. So the most High said he's going he gonna to rise against those that help, that help you out and that do iniquity. That's a so-called white man. That's right. He's gonna rise up on you, man. Go ahead. Great. Hey, see, the white man really cared about you, man. You wouldn't even be here. You be, you be out of here, man. They always talk about some. You don't like it here? Go back to Africa. Go back to Mexico. But hey, you don't want Jake to leave this country. You want, you want, you want to have slave remnants in this country, man. Great. You want, you want somebody to look down on. If Jake, if Israelites weren't in this country, man, you eat them to be through, man. That's right. Because you don't work. Okay. You got no salt. You got no flavor. Everything you got, you stole it. You got no style. You got no rhythm. Your food's nasty. You're nasty. So you, so you need our people, man. Go ahead. Yeah, no. If, if, if Esau cared about anything, we will live in a, in a righteous society, man. But yeah. this motherfucker don't care about shit, man. You know? That's right. He did it evil to himself. To whom will he be good to? That's right, man. Verse 3 says, Now the Egyptians are meant and not gods. 
uh, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord Yahweh shall stretch out his arm, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is open shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. That's right. So Esau's gonna fall, his kingdom's gonna fall, and all his allies, man, and that includes you two-thirds of, of the nation of Israel, man. Because again, like the brother's going into, you put your trust in Esau, man. You you trust in Esau to deliver you from everything. All the, 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 the pandemic, all this, all the stimulus check. Every every aspect of, of, of your life, you're dependent on Esau, man. And you put all your trust in him. Yeah, you don't you don't trust in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the one of living power, the only living power, the one who gave Esau his power, the one who, who set you on low and set him on high, man. You gotta go back to the Lord, man. That's right. You go, it, 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 that's what I, I keep telling Jake, man. Your problem is not money. It's not economics. Niggas like niggas know how to make money. If they didn't, they wouldn't be the number one economy inside of America. Niggas know how to do business and all that other shit. But it ain't working for you because the most high is against you. That's right. Why? Because you're against him. And until you turn back to your how about Shima was shy, you always gonna fail, man. You always gonna lose, man. You always gonna be behind the curve, man. Right. Uh, real quick, the brother of uh, the kingdom is within. We put limitations four and seventeen. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help and our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us, man. Right. So either the Edomite nation can't save you. Look, they through, man. How can an Edomite nation save you? They can't even save themselves, man. And they don't even want to save you, man. You all here crying at uh, and what did what did what did Sleepy Creepy Joe do? When he, when he came in the office, man, he gave more rights to the abominable people, man, than he did you. As soon as he came in, man, trade rights, transvestite this, transgender this, and you, Jake, you follow that, man. You think as long as you follow these customs that you're going to benefit from, but you're not going to benefit from that, You're going to fail, man. Utterly miserable. Miserable, okay? Because none of that, none of that can save you. That's vain help. This man is against the heavenly father. He's going to try to fight the Lord's son and lose. And, and you know what's funny? You know, the scriptures say, uh, Yahweh Shah himself said, if, if, if he that is not with me is against me. And Jake in the world knows that if, if, if you against Esau, if you're not with Esau, you against Esau. And they know that if you against Esau, you're going to have a, a, a terrible life. You know, but when the, when the scriptures speak and, and tell you the same thing, you rather be like, nah, I, I'm gonna go with the world, you know, knowing that the heavenly Father controls everything, man, and that shows you that, like it's like it's written in the book of Ezekiel, uh, that these are uh, hard-headed people, man. Stiff neck, you know, stiff neck. That's how you know Jake is hard-headed. You got, you got to know he's talking about Jake, because because right. when you read uh, chapter three, it said the Lord said if he came to any other nation or sent you to, a, yeah, they would have received it, man. He said, but I do send you to the house of Israel, man. That's right. He said, I, I didn't send you to a nation whose speech was hard to understand you know he sent you to Jake and you can see it look, look, look at the outcome look at what happens so the book of Hosea 5 and 15 says I will go and return to my place till they, till they acknowledge their offense and that's right you gotta acknowledge your offense when you come back the first thing you have to do when coming back and repenting to the how about Shemel Shai is uh, you have to acknowledge your offense, man. You got to you got to acknowledge what you did wrong, and what did you do? You broke the laws and the commandments of Yahweh Bashanam Shah. So now, not only returning to the Most High, like the scripture says, seek him ten times more, as it was your mind to go off. We gotta, you gotta, and you gotta start following the law. Does that mean your life is gonna be better and easier? Things will get better, but it's still gonna be hard. Because you gotta, you have to climb out of that mud hole that you dug yourself. But the Most High is merciful to unto us, so he, he'll accept your repentance, man. Right. Okay, Hosea 5 and 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they shall seek me early. Yeah, when, the hell, when all hell break loose, Jake is gonna try to seek the Lord early. You're gonna be out here trying to see where the brothers is at. You gonna see where the apostles is at? You gonna check for us, and you're not gonna find us, man. Okay? And you see, like right now, it, it's getting to the point now, man. Hey, things are about to start shutting down, man. 
YouTube is cutting videos. The time is coming where the apostles are going to be uh, taken off the street. We're apostles too. We're sent forth too. The Lord going to have it to where we're not going to be out here like that, man. Hey, that one Jake said, I know he came humble, but he was like, man, y'all finally out here. Man, we've been out here, bro. What you talking about? We, we finally out here, man. We've been out here, but you know, you finally came. Which is cool, but at the same time, it's like, listen, you'd have knew that if you were trying to seek the Lord. But you got to seek the Lord while he's able to do them. Not with all hell breakers. Then now you want to get right. It don't work that way. Well, actually, I just, I'll read it. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek, seek ye Yahweh by Shingal Shad, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, and he's there right now. gonna block all any remnants of the truth man it's gonna be against you know? the law that's right and, and they show you that in a, in a bunch of movies man you know that that movie uh, uh v for vendetta yeah. you know they, that nigga had the fucking quran but you yeah, know it's gonna be with the scriptures man you know he, he had a secret room and he had the the quran and stuff and once they found out what they do they came for him man yeah. and they killed him and that's what's that's the persecution that's coming man you know to, to the true men of the lord and and even you, you, you know, Israelites that are, are preaching false doctrines, man. You, you think Esau's just gonna let you slide, man? He already got you, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, he but, does, you, got, you got Christian fundamentalists that, that really be hard, hard line Christians, man. That's right. And and they they do bring even some more truth on certain topics than than you Israelites, man. And and they're gonna be persecuted, man, because Esau do, doesn't want anything that's speaking against him and yeah. against his kingdom, man. Got it, God. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Yeah, because, like, you know, to remember the Lord. You get Jake, they want to remember the Lord when they want a sick bed, when they locked up somewhere. Well, basically, when they being afflicted. Okay, you wait, Jake, wait till they get like 60, 70 years old, they on a deathbed, now they want to get the Bible get the, the priest or the pastor or the reverend to come speak over their deathbed and shit. And, and, and even now, man, uh, the evil days are upon a lot of you jakes already, man. You, you people that are out there without jobs, without, you know, you're being evicted. You know, those evil days are here, man. And, and it's not going to get better. You know, the apostles have been saying, man, you know, and the scriptures say, once the time of Jacob's trouble starts, man, Things are gonna start going by quick, man. And judgment's gonna start falling upon, starting off with, with Jake and, uh, and the whole earth, quick, man. Esau don't got enough time to just prolong this shit to, oh, we're gonna convince the whole world and secretly, you know, make everybody do our will. No, man, he's gonna come quick, man. And it's good to say that, Revelation 12 and 12. Okay? That's right. The devil shall come down with a great wrath because he know he had but a short time. That's right. Yeah, and, and, and you, Jakes, a lot of you, man, you you suffering, man. And, and the evil times are here for you. So what are you waiting for? You know, how how many of you were, were waiting on the fucking stimulus check and it never came through for you? You know? But you still hoping on, on Esau, man? You know, it's time to, you know, put your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. That's right. Yeah, if you look at the news lately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh already started killing Jakes. Not on, a, not on a high level as Jake's trouble. Hank Aaron. Yeah, that nigga died soon, right after he took us to shot. Oh, like the stars there, yeah. Sister Tyson, old, old, old ass, she dropped old ass, she dead. She might have took the shot too, nigga didn't say it. Yeah, they didn't say it. I'm oh. sure she probably did. Yeah, 96 yeah. years old. Hey, you're 96 years old trying to preserve your life, nigga. Hey, you about to let it go, man. But get, get the road, bitch, you good. You're 96. What else, what else is in the world for you to do? Nothing. Yeah. You, you can't, you're not used to nobody. She was, uh, she was relegated to a wheelchair. They had to wear a blanket in 73 weather. 96? Yeah, she was dead. Damn near 100 years old. Uh, uh, 96 years of wickedness, bro. It was time for her to go. Oh, I got to get a little bit more. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, 
while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. That's yes. right, and, and when the evil times come, you're not going to remember, you know, the, the, the all the partying or the bullshit. Uh, that scripture in uh, the Apocrypha, uh, uh, in the days of prosperity, there's no remembrance of... Yeah, man, you're not going to remember those things, man, because you're going to be dealing with, with the now. You're going to be dealing with, damn, people is dying, you know, there's no food, there's, you know, plagues, famines, you know? That's what you're going to be dealing with. All the other BS that you was doing in the world, that stuff you, is going to be out of your mind, man. You, you're going to be thinking like, damn, I should have, you know, done something else with my time. You know, I should have listened to, to the men of the Lord, you know? Because as the brother's going to read right now, man, all, all those things in the time of, of affliction, they're going to be non-existent. Existent. E even the memories, man. Yep. This is uh, Sirach 11 and 25. In a day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. And in a day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. Right. And, 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 and in the day of affliction, you're not going to remember those things. You think, well, you're going to... Because this era is all about making memories. Well, that's why you got the cameras and all. Oh, I'm gonna save all these pictures in the clouds so you can sit back and when you're old and all, oh, look at the time. Oh, look, oh, look at the time. Oh, you remember this? Oh, that shit is not gonna happen, man. The Lord's about to bring the, the, the greatest judgment in history. You ain't gonna have no damn time to sit back and look at your picture books and then none of that shit, man. Yeah, you're you not gonna be like Mary J. Blige reminiscing on your love that we had. That's right. You, you're not gonna be. Sitting in the middle of a war zone, thinking of oh man, oh shit, I used to do this and that. No nah, man, that all that stuff is about to be completely done away with. Yeah, you're gonna be living for the now. That's right. Trying to get some food, trying to find some peace, trying to find some quiet, trying to find some protection. Remind me, remind me of my pops <laughs> when he had a lot of gas in his tank when he was a little younger. Nah, thinking you said. <laughs> This nigga used to stay in the titty bars, everything. As soon as he got a little older, couldn't do it no more. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted to sit on the porch with my mom. Yeah. And my mom was busting out one day. She was like, yeah, now you're too old to go out there and walk yep. around. Yep. So he yep. wanna sit around and talk to me, but that's Jake. Yeah, yeah just, he ain't got no more gas in his tank. Yeah. He can't do nothing. Hey, Jake, like the road to the wheels fall off, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said right there. Yeah. Remember the creator yeah. the days of that youth, that youth. Man. Well, when you, you got strength, right, like, you got strength. We got yeah. strength right now. We can stand up. That's right. You know, we can stand up out here. We can uh, for hours mm -hmm. if need be, man. You know, when you were like sixty seven years old, you can't do that, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't if the Lord is on you, but and it's too late then, man. You know, you got get awesome uh, bro. Yeah, because the spirit is over. Yeah. 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 And they're healthy. They're pretty healthy for that age, man. You know. Yeah. But like, like you said, not many men can do that, man. But, but guess what? They were searching for the Lord in their youth, man. They grew old in the truth. They ain't grow, they ain't, they ain't come in the truth, oh. They actually grew old in the truth, bro. Like this little this video of the apostles, young, bro. Black beards. You know what I'm saying? Young. There's a video of the apostles before I was watching. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. It was, guess what he was doing? What he was doing? He was seeking the Lord while, mm -hmm. while before the days draw nine, man. Yeah, before right. the evil days draw nine, man. That's right. That's a beautiful thing. Elder Sakharan, man. Mm -hmm. He came in the truth like 16 years old, man. He's he's growing. He's getting older in the truth now, man. You know? I mean, he still he still got some youth about him, but he's getting he's getting he's getting there, man. Right. I, I I I seen pictures of Elder Ayatun. Elder Ayatun, man. He's starting to gray now, bro. I remember. It was it was uh, videos of him. He had black hair. He had a full head of hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looked different. He looked young. And now then I see him now, man. He's healthy. He's strong. He's, he's strong. But he's, he's growing old in the truth, man. He's getting old in the truth. A lot of the elders, all the elders are getting old in the truth. All of them, man. It's like, but hey, that's a beautiful thing because they're aging gracefully, man. Aging gracefully. That's right. Okay, and they didn't wait till they, they didn't wait till they caught gout when they turned like 60 and 70 with cancer to try to seek the Lord, man. You seek him early. That's what we're doing, man. We can all we can hope to grow older in the truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we'll be out there before that happens. But if so, man, I'd love to see us three just standing up there. You know what I'm saying? Brother's like, brother's old, man. Brother got, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, but he's still strong, man. That's what I'm supposed to say. Wisdom and knowledge should be just a 
responsibility at that time. But with the knowledge that the apostles had, that's what he would have stayed. Right. Yeah, they didn't eat to the herbs and eating good. Yeah. All that stuff, man. While Jake's in the world be eating fucking pork and being all fucked up. Yeah, the only reason why the women of our nation try to exercise is for vanity purposes. Right. And then they got to get a uh, surgery. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, still eating terrible. You know? Uh, yeah. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Amos 8 and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yeah, and that's right, man. Uh, we, we, you're going to stop hearing this word soon, man. Because we ain't going to be out here on the highways and hedges. We, we, uh, YouTube going to be shut down. The internet gonna be highly regulated, so it ain't gonna be easy to find these these lessons, man. That's right. We uh, and, and it's gonna come a time where the Lord's gonna shut our mouths, man. That's right. He gonna make us dumb, meaning we're not gonna be able to speak this word to you, man. Yeah. There's a, a a precept I think it's in the Book of Revelation that says, uh, uh, uh that He's the one that shut it, and no man open it, right. and, and open it, and no man shut it. Yep. You know, and once Yahweh Shimei was shot. Shuts that door of mercy, man. Hey, that's it, man. Yeah. You, you can hope and cry and, and try to do whatever. Hey, that's it, man. You know? What's going to be between you and the Most High? Guess what? The Most High is going to come out on the top. That's right. It's going to get bad out here, man, for Jake, man. It's going to be bad. Jacob's trouble is going to be terrible, man. That's right. It's going to be really, really bad. Yeah, I mean, it, it does say it in the book of Daniel, a time that... Like, there's never been since there was a nation. Man. That's right. And people don't don't even consider that. Yeah, you see, look, right? yeah, look, the whole family walked by, man. Uh, condemned, man. Condemned. So, Amos eight and twelve. Well, I read eleven again. And behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the heavenly Father. Right. Which is this the bread of life? Right. This is the word that's going to get This is the water of life, man And you're going to be thirsty for this word, man You're going to be hungry for this knowledge and wisdom And understanding When all hell breaks loose, man And you don't know, man Like down there in South America They're already, they like this far away From completely being destroyed So how much more when they hit America, man Venezuela, they've been destroyed for a minute All these South American countries have been destroyed for a minute Right. Wait till it hit America. It's gonna be terrible, man. And then you, it's really gonna go worldwide because right. America is the key for all these nations, man. Uh, verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the heavenly Father, yeah. and shall not find it. So they're gonna run to and fro. They're gonna get on the internet. Hey, what's the GMS site? Oh, what's that website? Oh man, what's the name of the Lord? How is how shine? You're gonna be doing all that, man. You're gonna be mad. But you, got, you only got yourself to blame. Yeah, man. And you already, you already seen, you know, the censorship, man. You, you've been seeing it, but you know, with this, with this whole pandemic and shit going on, you know, you had that that devil. Uh, how do you call him? Uh, Bill Gates. Oh, Bill Gates. Bill Gates of hell. The Gates of hell. The Gates of hell. You know, talking about, you know, he's going to have the, the uh, social media platforms, you know, remove all content of, of so-called conspiracies against them, man. Oh, you yeah. know? Because he, he know he, they, they on his ass, man. Right. The people right. ain't as stupid as he thought they were, man. I mean, they dumb, but a lot of people, they pushing that vi vibration about Bill Gates of hell, the gates of hell, man. Right. Hey, this man ain't never, he ain't even graduated college, man. But yet, you're taking this nigga's word on vaxology because he read a couple of books. That's right. Willie, really, he was set up by the super elite to push that agenda of world population, man. And everybody knows that that's what you're about, man. Even your speech uh, tell on you, man. Uh, you know? But now he's trying to clean it up. And why is he trying to clean it up? Because it's fucking up the plan, man. Ain't nobody taking it, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody taking it. And he's like, oh, people will take it when the next one comes. Like, how you so sure there's going to be one? Because you be on it, man. You with it. You yeah. go to the Bilderberg meetings. You front seat. Listen. That's right. Can't wait to go out and tell you your shit, yeah? But they also show you that people listen to the rich man. They don't listen to the poor man. 
Like like right now, if Bill Gates is out here talking right now, it'll be uh, the block would be packed full of people, man. People hating on him. People listening to him. Most listening. Yeah, mainly mostly listening to him, man. You know, regarding every word he say, you treat this man like he's some type of guy. He's nothing. Smooth face demon. That's all he is, man. A, a glasses wearing demon. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the heavenly father that's right now man shall live by every word that come out of the mouth and how am I shall not be shot man not by bread alone not by your own strength so you we seek the Lord man. and after another precept of that is the book of Isaiah um, wisdom and knowledge so be the stability get it, of that I time. Get it. Isaiah 33 and 6. When you don't have no uh when you don't have no food to eat, right? No YouTube to watch. No Instagram. No Instagram. The only thing that's gonna sustain you is this word. Isaiah 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times that's right. and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shah is his treasure. That's right. And Yahweh Shai proved that. He lived off the words of Yahweh by Shemin Hashai. He wasn't worried about what he was going to eat or what he was going to sleep. The only thing he was worried about was his word. Right? Yeah, and, and the times that we're coming into, man, you know, that the, the word is what's going to keep you stable, you know, sane, you know? Because a lot of people are going to be going through famines, through a lot of things, man. We mentioned a, a, a couple of them, you know, and, and, and that's going to make people bug out. But we know through the spirit that we're gonna have to endure certain things, man. We're gonna have to go through, you know, a couple days without, you know, without eating, without taking a bath, with whatever it is, man, that the Lord got prepared for us. But we're ready because we know it's coming, and we're gonna be taken care of because the Lord said it. He promised it, man. That's right. That's the thing. We believe in the promises, man. You gotta believe in this, man. You got Jack to believe in the world like that. But we believe in the how about she was shot. You gotta believe in these words. They're true, man. Yeah, you know, these are not empty rhetoric. It's not empty rhetoric. We're not just up here speaking, man. This is the words that Yahweh about Shemiah was shy. It's like when you run out of food, when you run out of money, you'll never run out of these words. That's right, man. Because now we have these words in our heart. Yep. In yeah. our mind. So if we don't have nothing, That's right. we still have these words, and the words inspire us to trust. That's right. And Yahweh about Shemiah was shy. And when you That's trust right. in Him, what does He do? He provides everything you need. That's right, man. But they, these people out here, they don't, they don't have that hope. You get that scripture that says uh, the, the name of the Most High is a strong tower. Yeah, and, and, and it's uh, that that spiritual fuel, man. You know, that's, right. that's what's gonna keep us going, man. That's what kept the prophets going, man. Look at Ezra. How, how, how many weeks did Ezra fast, man? And what what kept them going? The Spirit that, of the, the Lord. Spirit of the Lord. He wanted to know more. That that reading that precept, you know, uh, the the words of the Heavenly Father basically are our life, man. You know, and he wanted to know more. You know, and then that's why the Lord, you know, gave him the revelation. He he uh, afflicted his soul. You know, he he didn't care about the body, but he cared about the 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 wisdom that the heavenly Father was giving him. Man, this is a uh, Saint John six and uh, verse sixty three. Oh, uh, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's right, man. And again, going back to of wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. That's what's gonna keep us, man. That's it's gonna be our life, you know, in, in those days, man. That's what's gonna preserve us, you know. The, the, the thought of, you know, our shy is coming for us, man. You know, we gotta keep on pushing. Fuck, fuck the church, fuck whatever they're, they're, they're trying to give us. You know, our shy is coming, man. We're gonna keep on fighting. Let's pray for strength, man, that we faint not, you know. Uh, this is from Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And that's what we run into. We seeking the Hamash and our shy, not Esau, not Edom, not our own way, man. Not no other, not, not, not no other God, man. We seeking the Hamash and our shy, man. He's a strong tower. And he said, what? Uh, those that run into him, run into it is safe, man. Safe. How right. beautiful is that? Yeah, the Lord showing mercy to save us from his wrath, That's man. That's right. Mm -hmm. But nobody's trying to hear it. Look at it. Look at this shit. Empty. But it's all right because 
It don't matter. The Lord is here. This word will not go out void, man. Everything he said he gonna do, he gonna do. Everything. The Lord is not a man where he shall lie. Or the, neither are the son of man where he shall repent. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Yep. Lean, uh, uh, trust in the, trust Lord, in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not to thy own understanding. That's right. In all thy ways acknowledge him. That's right. And what will he do? He'll make thee a path straight. That's and right. that has a twofold meaning. Literally, he'll also make your path straight. He'll lead you where you need to go. If you need some food, water, whatever. Yeah. And that time, that time is going to come. You know? Yeah. Because it's going to get down to the bare, to bare necessities, man. Yeah. All, of, all of the fun things in life, man, that shit's going to go. All this folly that's being set in dignity is going to go. I remember when that first shut The first shut down in Hawaii. Yeah. Everywhere you went, you ain't saw oh, about that. Yeah. Smiling. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time something like that had, had really ever happened. That's right. So people was taking it seriously. And now they're not taking it seriously because now all this folly is not going But the next one they come and hit, they're going to be, going to be hurt. And, 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 and a perfect account is when, you know, we was in the wilderness, man. You know, who fed us? Yeah. Our Shai, man. You know, and you had them, yeah, Jakes that were ungrateful and shit, but, you know, and, and this time, the Lord ain't gonna save everybody, man. He's yeah. gonna save those that, that believe in Him and, and put their trust in Him. Yeah, you know? and, 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 and that's crazy, because, that's not crazy, but uh, the ones that die on this side are the same ones that died in the wilderness. That's right, that's right. The same ones that's unbelieving, man. Them and their children. You know, you, you see, you see Jake in the hood dying like like hot cakes. Cause the niggas don't believe, man. They they believe in something that's false, man. Look, uh, hey, I don't know if you saw that video on uh, what's up. Uh, one of the brothers posted up. One of these churches got shot up today. These African churches, man. He just ran in the church, went down the aisle, started shooting people, man. And I'm like, yo, where was Jesus at? Why? I thought Jesus was gonna take the wheel, man. He's ducking behind the podium or somewhere, man. Where was Ally? At? Nowhere to be found. All these. False idols, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And they was in the middle of church singing and praising. As usual, man. And got shot to shit. That's Just right. like that, that, that church in South uh, South Carolina a couple years back, man. Niggas was in there praying, they let the devil in. White and look, man, he, he, he aired the motherfuckers up, man. Oh yeah, immediately. 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 We, I forgive you like that's like the most I look at that like that's a blessing. Then you're an idiot, man. These dicks are cool, man. Ugh. This is uh, Psalms <laughs> 9. I'm gonna like tears, man. I'm gonna complain on this man. That's a tear. Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah, that's right, man. The secret places is in, in, in the scriptures, man. Get, in the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and uh, understanding. So, Rock 14 and 1. Well, verse 2 I will say of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in Him will I trust. And again, we're supposed to put all our trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, man, because ultimately He's controlling everything, man. He does the good and the evil. He kills and He makes alive. Sure. You know? Not, not, no. <laughs> the spiritual demon saying, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the guy with the forked tongue. Yeah, say forked the most high in heaven. Yeah, man. <laughs> the heavenly father is the one that controls everything, man. So we're supposed to trust in him. If, if, you trust, if, if you're doing the Lord's will and you, you put your trust in him, what reason, you know, is there for, for, for your destruction, man? You know? But if you don't, there is many a reasons, man, because you basically a, a enemy to the heavenly father. Again, he that is not with me is against me, man. Now what do you think is gonna happen to you? If the Lord's coming to bring that, that, that great judgment, that second death, man, you're gonna be destroyed. Oh, verse three, surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. That's right, and you know, brothers are being even as we speak, delivering from, delivered from, you know, being uh, evicted, from, from losing their job, yeah. from many of things, man. How much more in the time of Jacob's struggle if we keep pushing this word, man, if we keep believing, you know, and, and, and doing the, the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. 
I have something right like now. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, so Second Edgar's 12 and 35. This is the dream that thou sawest, and these are the interpretations. Thou only has been meet to know this secret of the highest. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book, and hide them, and teach them to the wise of the people, whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. That's right, and then that's why we're not teaching you know, our, the whole nation, like these other camps. We, we ain't trying to wake up all of our people, man. We understand that a lot of you, most of you, are not gonna get it, man. And you're not going to repent and, you know, turn away from wickedness. But those are, that are wise, that, that we deem worthy through the spirit of, of, of teaching the, the, you know, the, the, the meat of the scriptures, man. We do, man. Because we understand that those might be the souls that are, you know, allotted for salvation. Uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and verse 1 and it came to pass upon the third day I sat under an oak and behold there came a voice out of the bush over, over against me and said Ezra, Ezra, I said here I am Lord and I stood upon my feet. Verse 3, then said he unto me in the bush I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses and talk to them for my people served in Egypt. And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt. And that's what the Lord is doing with us. The Lord is doing the same thing with us. He's sending us forth to lead our people out of Egypt, man. But only the only our people are the elect of our people. Not all of our nation, man. Go ahead. And brought him up to the Mount of Sinai where I held him by me a long season. Yeah, it was uh, 40 days and 40 nights, man. But like the apostle Tahar was saying, and he showed Moses everything. Moses saw this time over there right now. He saw the very end. Moses saw the very end, man. He saw Jake getting chipped, Jake standing in them lines to get that chip, all of that. That's why he came down and he was glowing, man. Yeah, yeah, the Lord showed him everything. Verse five, and told him many wondrous things and showed him the secrets of the times and the end and commanded him saying, these words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide. Same thing he told, same thing he told Edris, man. Same thing he told Edris, man. Hey, can you, real quick, you get Amos 3, where it says, uh, the Lord will do nothing but he showed the secrets unto the servant of the prophets. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3. Uh oh. And verse... Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing when he reveal his secrets unto his servants the prophets. He says that we shall be with him to the end. It's a what? And with such as be like thee until the times be ended. And with such as be like thee to the times that ended, which is other prophets, members of the elect, prophets, members of the elect. Go ahead. Uh, verse 10. For the world has lost his youth, and well, the well, time well, the world has lost his youth, because at one point this place was uh in its strength, man. It's weak right now. Go ahead. For the world had lost its youth, and the times began to wax old. Yep. Verse 11, for the world is divided into 12 parts. Yeah, that was uh, 12,000 years. Okay, go ahead. And the 10 hey, parts. Because hey, the earth is very young, man. The whole universe is young, man. That is less than 14, about 14,000 years old, man. 
Yeah, like see like people look at the whole the world and you think like man it's a billion years when things were evolved if you listen to Esau. But that's a lie, man. Hey, this is all this is all young, man. We're living in a young, this is a young world, man. Okay? The world has lost its youth and the times begin to wax old. Verse 11, the world is divided into 12,000 years. Yeah, that's 12,000 years when? And the 10 parts of it are gone already. Yep, 10,000 10, years are gone already. Try to, uh, 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 address. Go ahead. And half of a 10th part. Yep. You read it. Verse 12, and there remaineth that which is after the half of the 10th part. Yep. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. See, and that's what we're doing. We're setting our house in order, man. We're getting things right within ourselves, man. Before the coming of our Lord, man. And hopefully, Lord willing, Yahweh Shem Shabbatazah, we'll be found to be worthy of salvation, man. Go ahead. And reprove thy people. And that's what we're doing. Correcting our people. Our people are going off. You don't want to hear the, rough, the, the harsh harshness of the truth, but it is what it is. I can't, we can't be no other way. This is the word of the Lord. We're telling you that the way you're living is adverse to Yahweh Bashanah Shai. Everything you're doing. You have to seek his face in order to be saved, man. He nobody else, no nothing, no other power, no, nothing of our own might, nothing of, nothing that you're doing is gonna save you from the wrath that's coming. Go ahead. Except Yahweh Bashan Shai. Verse 13. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Mm -hmm. Comfort such of them and as be in trouble. And we're comforting who is in trouble? The elect, man. Hey, just like this word is a comfort to us, man. And, 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 you know, you know how safe it is to know that like even if we saw grab us up and say, I'm gonna give you 150 years, we're cool. We're gonna sit back, you know, we're, hey man, because you ain't got 150 years, man. Yeah, how about Shah is gonna deliver us, man? Somehow, some way, he's gonna make a way for us, man. He's always there for us when we're in trouble, man. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. And that's what we're doing. We're renouncing corruption. Because that's what's all that's in this world. It's corruption. Right. On every level. And we're denouncing that shit, man. Go ahead. Verse 14. Let go free. Let go throw thee mortal thoughts. Yeah. You know, how I'm going to eat. How I'm going to live. I'm how I'm a, where I'm aware, who who love me, where my woman at, how much money I got. And fuck all that, man. That's what the heathen worry about, man. Right. And I know it's easier said than done, because when you catch an L, we in this flesh. Mm -hmm. But you gotta know that your how about Shinawa Shah is gonna make a way. Go ahead. Let go free the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Yeah, that's what this is. This world is nothing but the burdens of man. You got Jake selling out just so they can uh uh uh, uh get uh, a, a higher, better quality of life, man. That's all you're doing it for. And those are mortal thoughts, man. He's even worried about that shit. Go ahead. Put off now the weak nature. That's a weak nature. Go ahead. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto me. Yeah, so, you know, hey, I'm, what about my kids? What about my woman? Hey, we got to put that to the side, man. We got to have faith that the Lord's going to protect our people. You know, and if, and if they die on their side, hey, we'll get them back, man. I know it's easier said than done, but that's that's the mentality we gotta have, man. That's why, that's why your Howard Shai says, Salakia, if you love any of those things more than me, you say you're not worthy of it. Yeah. So we have to love this truth. The how about Shai more than anything, your wife, yeah. anything. And that's not, and that's not saying you like you leave them fucked no. up. You don't take care of your house. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. But it's saying that like, look, this work comes before anything. anything. Okay? Right. It come before my comfort. It come before my uh, my desires. It come before my job, my woman. It has to. It has to. It has to. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to fly from these times. And we're in the time of hastening the coming of your how about shot. Right. It's 2021, the year hastening, man. You got uh, ISUBK said, Hastening for the day of the Lord, you can gain. What? Yeah, 
and niggas are rubber beats, man. You know, but hey, the two personas that hasten the day to flee away from this shit, man. We want this place to go down, man. We need it to go down so we can come up. That's right. We need righteousness on the earth, man. This shit is this shit is vexing and tiring, man. Go ahead. Uh, verse 17, or in latter verse 16, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Yeah, because even during the time of Ephesus, it was bad, but now shit is really bad. And it's gonna get worse than this. Right. It's about to be a lawless place out here, man. You got everybody walking around, enjoying life, just enjoying their life and, and seeing the sight. That's just going in, man. Right. All the open hands and the unity, that's just going in. protest against you know the institutions man you know the people is tired of their leaders man 144 bro they, they, they tired of the you know of, of the oppression you know and, and these motherfuckers these people are actually going out there and, and almost nearly fucking fighting against they the fucking fucking police, out right now man, man. And they're right. fighting against a nation is rising up against nation right, right. kingdom against kingdom right now man they shall not regard the kings and princesses. Yep. All that stuff is about to happen, man. And again, when it happens here in America, it's going to be a, a, a bloodbath, man. Because America is the country with the most weapons in, in the whole entire world, man. The, the citizens of the United States are, are armed to the teeth, man. You know? And then when ESO try to come for that shit, for, for your guns, for your liberty, guess what's going to happen, man? It's going to be a civil war. That's right, man. Even in Russia. Back when I was growing up, the, the Russian people, they wouldn't dare speak against that guy, Boris. No, 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 no uprisings, no nothing. Oh, Gorbachev. Now, in Russia, yo, oh, yeah, these people oh. in Russia, bro, they protest against my country, they don't care. Oh, they, oh, they oh yeah, for that one dude, that one dude that they locked up. That's right, that's right. Yeah, they fucking yeah, up yeah. against that president of Putin. Yeah. No, they can't stand this ass. Yep. He's basically a dictator. This nigga been president four times, three, four times, bro. King of Russia, the king of the Medes. That's right. The king of the Medes, bro. That's what label. That's King Putin, man. What are you doing? Hell yeah, man. Um. Yes, I'm going to tell you. Go ahead, bring it up. Um. Well, let me see if I have a second as a chapter. Second as a chapter 14 and verse 17. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. That's what, it, that's what this world is. We can do age. Man. Go ahead. So much the more shall evils increase. That's what's happening. Upon them look that at, dwell therein. Look at Esau down. Look at all these directives that uh, mm -hmm. previous Sleepy Joe bringing in, man. As soon as he came in the office, he turned this world into a training, man. training verse, man. Really? It's bad. I remember uh, the elder Ariala that had done a lesson, man. He prophesied about that. He was like, I remember he said, oh, or if, if you mind trannies, you're about to see a, a lot of it if, if creepy Sleepy Joe get into office, man. And look, huh? the first thing he did, man. Yeah. He's yeah, like yeah, man. He, he's he nasty, like man. a damn fucking oh, freaky Sleepy Joe. He, he's he's so like it's no law. It ain't no see. <laughs> really, when you think about it, there's no law if you so-called cheat on your wife in a tranny. <laughs> so that's why he, There is? There isn't. There oh. isn't. There's no law saying you can't do this with a dude. Yeah, it's, it's, whatever. Esau's nasty. Esau's nasty. So they can get away with that shit all day. Nasty. Disgusting. Like, like, like it's a, like it's a, like it's a billion trannies out here. A tranny nation that you just yeah, gotta yeah. save, man. Why are you doing all this? Cause he, all this so-called equity that he so-called bringing, he ain't bringing no equity to the tribes. He ain't bringing no equity to you. He putting trannies, homosexuals, Pedophiles ahead of you, man. And making this thing acceptable for the world, man. Hoping that he get the whole world back on track, man. But these nations, they're ready to go to war. Iran, I mean, Israel said, if you, if Joe Biden bring that, uh, 
agreements, the nuclear deal back with Iran, they're going to they going to war. 777, man. Completely. They're going to war. You know, you got Iran, they ready to go. All these nations, they ready to kick off. China got some shit going on with Taiwan. They about to go to war with them. Taiwan is an ally to America. But Taiwan, according to China, is part of China. I read an article um, on the internet. A lot of people are leaving Hong Kong because of the rules that China is enforcing on them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. saying like like China's now is like a like a dictatorship. Yeah, they man. They just telling home. people what to do. Yep. You don't do it. They kicking your door with the police. They yep. take your shit. Do you want to win concentration camps? Yep. Go over the concentration And that's what the, the the whole world is heading to, man. A uh, complete dictatorship, man. Yep. You know. And W O New World right. Order. Right. Trying to give you that universal basic income or UBI, two thousand dollars to survive, push you into these uh, highly uh, densely populated uh, cities, and basically a prison, chattel right. slavery, man. Uh, second as the chapter fourteen and seventeen. Look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall the evils increase. Upon them that dwell therein. Verse 18, for the truth is spread far away, and leasing is hard at hand. Now, now you now you the truth is coming back. Okay. But now hasteth the vision to come. Here we go. Because uh, uh hey, the vision is yet for a point in time, but it shall uh not tarry. Which thou hast seen. Good. That was right. it. No, that's all. What you got? Well, I had Second Edges 15. Wait, uh, Second Edges 15 and verse or 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. That's right. That's right. So, woe meaning destruction, man. You know, that's what the Heavenly Father is about to bring. Destruction to, to, to this world, man. You know, and he's going to use what? Everything, man. He's going to use the people. He's going to use animals. He's going to use uh, natural disasters. You know, but going in verse 15, it says, uh, For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. And we're seeing, you know, the sedition amongst men. You know, you, you have uh, these different... Uh, uh, like uh, groups, like you know, the Black Lives Matters, and all, all these groups, man, that, that are forming throughout the country, and, and even in, in, in other countries, man, that are gonna take that opportunity to, to fight, you know, the, the, the chaos, to fight one against another, man. You know, it says, uh, for swords in their hands, uh, verse 16. For they shall be sedition amongst men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor the princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their hands. That's right, man. And, and, and all these protests and all these, you know, uprisings of the people is just about, uh, you know, a, a mask mandate and, and, and certain other things. How much more when there's a famine, when, when there's no food, when people can't get food, when, when people can't get medicine, you know, people is going to go buck wild, man. And, and again, we mentioned America, man. Hey, when some shit, all hell breaks loose here in America, this shit is gonna be like purge on steroids, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. Ain't gonna be no love for your neighbor. What That's right. What you about that in uh, 2nd and 15 and 14? Yeah, it says, yeah, right here, verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition amongst men, and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? So they're gonna do whatever the f they want, man. You know, when people is hungry, when people are desperate, you know, like the apostle says, when people uh, don't have anything to lose, they lose. They lose it, man. You know, and people is about to lose everything they got, man. You know, their jobs, their houses, everything, man. People is gonna lose their families, everything, man. Your your rights, your rights to speak, everything. So people is gonna go against the kings and the princes, man. 911 ain't gonna have it enough troops, man. The army, it's not gonna be enough, man. You know? And that's why they're gonna send what? The 
with the military to, to deal with you, man. And this is going to be again a, 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 a bloodshed. The scripture that says uh, the blood shall be up to the horses or right of right. You know, that's representative of the amount of, of, of killing, man. The amount of blood that's going to be shed in, in, in Babylon the Great, man. Uh, verse 17. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition amongst men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall decide to go into a city and shall not be able. And we're coming into that time. You see that right now. That's happening right now. You got to have a COVID test to get in and out of the country. That's right. Hey, if you're coming from a different country outside of America, you got to have a COVID test if you're a citizen. If you're from Brazil, you can't even come to America. Yeah. And if you're an American citizen, you got to get the COVID test. Uh, I have a, a friend that lives in Australia. And then they can't go anywhere, man. Nobody yeah. could go into Australia or get out. Right? And it's the same you thing know? with the EU. The That's EU right. said that too. The whole EU, uh, they said that nobody could come in. If you're not from the EU, if you, you're not from the EU nations or states, you can't come into them countries, man. So it's right. bad right now, man. Right. And it's, it's going to get down to the cities, man. You going to try to go to New York, and you ain't going to be able to. They already trying to get that right now. Right. Okay, you got to have a COVID test. You got to have a vaccine. So it's it's real. We coming into that time. How much more? You got you got people with family members in other cities. They ain't gonna be able to go and see them, especially when all the hell breaks loose out here, man. It's, and creepy sleepy Joe, he's not gonna be able to keep the country together, man. He's got this whole this whole uh, this whole platform of unity and equity that's just gonna fall to pieces, man. Because the Most High don't want that for this place, man. He want this place to be destroyed. And before it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be down shit's creek by the time your homicide come, man. Right. Yeah, it's a scripture that says, uh, uh, they had told uh, my people, peace, peace, and there is no peace. Probably paraphrase it. You know, these, uh, the, the leaders of this, of, uh, of the people, man, they're, they're going to tell you that everything's cool, that everything's going to be resolved, that, you know, they're working on it. But ultimately, it's not going to be better, man, because the plan is what? To, to bring order out of what? Out of chaos, man. You know, they want all hell to break loose. And the Heavenly Father is going to, Ramp it up, man. And this is uh, Jer uh, Jeremiah 6 and 14. It says, They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people, slight slightingly saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace, man. That's right, because there's no peace to the wicked. Not the wicked of our people, and definitely not you, Esau, Edom, man. Ain't no peace coming for you. The peace is coming through Yahweh Shai, but that's coming for the elect of Israel. And then ultimately, all of Israel will get it, but before that, it's going to be all hell going to break loose, man. Right. Oh, y'all think y'all got a uh, peace because Biden's in the office? Oh, he's better than Trump. He's worse than Trump, man. Trump got in the office. He had one executive order. Biden got in the office, forty-seven. God damn, that's you know what I'm saying? Devil, man. <laughs> this man's a devil, bro. This dude's a devil. The first day of office, it was seventeen. Now he got. Now he he, he ran it up thirty more, man. And then he even said when he was he, he don't even know what he's signing. Yeah, yeah. He actually said it. He's like, what am I signing here? He don't know. He just doing a bit of the elite, man. And that shows you how, in, in going back to the scriptures, you know, knowing that he has for a short time, it shows you how the elites have the gig is up, man. Either they do it now, or there's gonna be too many people, you know, knowing of the truth, man. You know, so they're, they're gonna try to push that chip soon. Of everything, man, the collapse of, of the dollar, all that stuff, man. Well, uh, that's the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, and verse 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. And that word haughty means to be haughty, be arrogant, a bad sense. So that's just another sign of the time. Before the end come, before the destruction comes, man is going to be haughty, be bad. It's like they're being bad now. That's right, man. They're going to have that pride, man. People pride, think that... You know, all, all kingdoms have fallen. All kingdoms have a, a an expiration date, man. But people think for some reason that these this kingdom's not gonna fall. This kingdom's gonna keep on going forever, man. You know? And it's almost like you know, people people walk around, right? And it's like they they with the mask on. They pretend like everything is just normal. It's cool, yeah. Like, man. like it's cool. Nigga, you got a mask on. That just ain't normal. 
Hell yeah, that's... <laughs> ain't nothing normal about having to wear a mask. Nothing normal about having to wear a mask 24 hours a day. And now they say you gotta wear a mask on all public and, and federal trans, uh, forms of transportation, bro. That ain't, ain't nothing normal. As, as far as saying that they suggest people wear masks during intercourse. Yeah. Like, these motherfuckers yeah. are fucking up. Hey, I saw a chick, a chick left the cross the other day. Yeah, I saw her sitting at her living room watching TV with a fucking mask. Oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. I said, she, she had a crib. Niggas are crazy. crazy. Niggas are fucking crazy. With a mask on, like that shit is normal. Yeah, we in hell. This is hell, man. Like, man that, that, that's, that's not healthy, man. You sitting there breathing in yeah. your own carbon di- uh, carbon monoxide or whatever. In your crib. In your crib. Yeah. And then yeah. you people are fucking simple, man. man. But And the woman, man, she <laughs> dumb. And it's probably it's not an Asian or some type of... I don't know what the fuck, man, but... Hey, these people are simple, man. That's like the nigga sitting in his car by himself with, with a mask, mask on. What yeah. the fuck? With a mask and a shield, all the windows yeah. on. All that shit. Yeah, you tripping, man. I'm, I'm, I gotta protect myself from COVID. And that just goes to show you, he saw the government can tell these people to do anything. And they'll do it, and man. They'll do it. Yeah, yeah. And the Most High says, keep my law, statutes, and commandments, and I'll protect you. And they don't want to do that. Which is easier. No, that's that's right. no, and, and the scriptures say the, uh, the the lust of the of your father he shall do, man. He, he was a liar from the beginning. That's right. Well, not in a boat, not in the truth. Man. That's right. And and all these people, that's their father, man. Esau is, is mm-hmm. these people's fathers, man, because he he's the the father of wickedness, mm-hmm. and then these yeah. people love wickedness, so they're gonna follow right along and do whatever he he pleases, man. You know. Uh, this uh, back in Second Ezra sixteen, I mean fifteen. Um, in verse 17 it says a man shall decide to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and that's what happened it's going to be so bad out here men are going to be afraid so if the men going to be afraid how much more the women bro they yeah. don't be shit they fans I saw uh, somebody stole some shit they tried stealing oh yeah she, she got sprayed in the face yeah, yeah, she, yeah, was yeah. Cry. she was crying <laughs> I was cracking the fuck oh up. I was like, yeah, that's the spirit, man. I, was, I saw the same video. I was like, yep. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming man. Finish, he, he, and she was on the ground, all that crying, trying to get some sympathy, man. Man, uh-huh. well, even along the same lines, when you spoke up last week, the chick in New York, going in the store to get a bottle of wine, she comes oh, yeah. out, call him demon ass Jake's yeah. 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 This nigga not only beat her up, he beat her bitch. in the face. Beat that bitch in the face. I'm mean, really, really bitter. Yeah, it was judgment. That was judgment, but she got some judgment. And they still ain't catch some niggas, man. Because the spirit of the Lord was on them, man. That's right. And that's the kind of spirit that's going to be on these people when all hell breaks. Even worse. Even worse. That's right. That's and right. you women, if you out here by yourself, you're going to drizzle down, man. man. That's, right. that's why seven women going to take hold of one man of the Lord. And that's a, mo- uh, a complete number. Saying we will eat our own food and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by our name, man. Right. You out here, you weak out here, man. You done it. Fucking women, their, their apparel is what full of fucking short booty shorts yeah. and tight ass clothes. Hey, when all hell breaks loose, you ain't gonna have no damn time to go buy some, uh, you know, uh, clothes that that, that modest covers apparel. Yeah, modest apparel. You know, you're gonna have to deal with what you got, and that shit is gonna make you a fucking target. All you only fans, bitches, you Instagram bitches, all you haughty, proud bitches, you gonna get up in that day. Man. You don't wanna get ate up in that day, man. If you look like something that day, you gonna get ate. Up, you gonna be a motherfucking uh, a snack for real? Be a bitch walking around saying I'm a snack. Yeah. Bitch, you gonna be a snack for real? That's right, man. Yeah, that nigga gonna, 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 gonna be in the war. Gonna be in he the dead war. in the war, dead or in the war. That's, right. That's the only two places he go. Verse 19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, yep. but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread so and for great tribulation. No food. All that mess my vent. That's my mean. See them dick. What the street that eat them They laughing all loud. Ha 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 ha. Earlier. Well, guess what? They ain't gonna be friends in that day, man. And that day, them niggas gonna be mortal enemies. I gotta eat. My kids gotta eat. Kicking in your door and shit. All that's gonna go down. Yeah. You look kind of. You look kind of healthy over there, nigga. You been eating? <laughs> <laughs> you been eating, nigga. 
Like, you ain't tell me. So you what the fuck? Yeah, all that shit. Them niggas gonna be eating all that shit. You know? I know you got something in there. <laughs> 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 Facts. Yo. Verse 20. Chalk mouth. Yeah. Mouth look like chalk. <laughs> they ain't had no water to drink. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Matter of the living day. Uh, verse 20 it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me. Which oh, I was all here, Cam. It goes oh. up, brother. Hey, so with that, Akim, we hope Cam was edifying again. All praise, son, and glory go to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakadash. Double honors to the Apostle, and Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakadash. And teach us to remember who and well, and peace, education to you, Akim, out there pushing and defending this gospel.